A pre notification gang. my workout plan do you use pre-workout or protein powder neither at the moment just like G Fuel if I need energy before a workout and I don't use protein powder at the moment thanks resub M3 and Nobot yep tonight's the final night of the speed run bounty it's pretty fierce thanks resub toe He's a tier one, the guy. And the resub HGH. And the bits Tim, or Tit. <clears throat> and then the resub Pumpkin. And give sub Tony. Are you still crying over the Chiefs winning? From, I'm not even an Eagles fan. I think the game ended shittily. Yeah, 100%. Thanks for the resub. Ghost, Green, Bando, Storm, and the Bits Trust, and Wowzers. And you give sub Tony. Let me give sub the guy. And the tier one tired and tier one tit. And the resub corn. And the bits swavy and silvy. And the prime Stephanie and bits kachow. Nothing too crazy, kachow. The resub boob. Any new conspiracies? Not that I've seen. There's a resub Cadillac, Parallel, Too Short, Hans, and Mishli. And the bits. Cajun and Crimson. Did I see what happened in Destiny today? No, it happened in Destiny. Drake getting blamed for X murder. Yeah, but didn't they just grant his ruling to not give his disposition or something I don't know what evidence they have on Drake but it seems pretty weak though I haven't looked too deep into it there's a prime cowboy in the resub Kurfin. Yeah, it's scary, Kurfin, that's for sure. What's the plan? Uh, no plan tonight, we'll figure it out. Might hop on Apex later, new season. 
Thanks, you said trash in tier one co. Did I see the truck crash in Arizona that sent out a plume of nitric acid? God damn. They gotta get these chemical transportation methods under control. Jesus Christ. Thanks a bit, Alvin. You hear Linkin Park's new song, Lost? It's dope. Yeah, I like it. Thanks for resub, Hayden. And give sub whiskey. You play old school RuneScape? Yep. Have for a long time. I'm two slayers. I'm two slayer levels away from finally maxing my account. Thanks for resub, Vic. Yeah, I didn't get into it though, Noah. Wasn't a huge fan. I did see the Guardians of the Galaxy trailer. Again, standard superhero shit. There was a new cutscene that dropped that ties into Destiny 2 Lightfall. Okay. Oh yeah, wait, Jackson messaged me about this. Season end, right? Yeah. I'll check it out. Thanks, you said Anubis in the Prime Crimson. Thanks, the Bits guy. And no, but I do watch Jim Can't Swim. Thanks, you said Jin. The Flash is going to be more than standard superhero shit. It is going to be transcendent shit because it stars Ezra Miller. You are not wrong. The movie might end up being good though. Who knows? There's the bits of Noah and Kachow. You see, Ant-Man's getting pretty bad reception so far. Yes, I'm still gonna see it, of course. But, as I mentioned, Ant-Man and the Wasp, I think, is the lowest point in all of the MCU. I think it is the weakest MCU film. So, going into this one, I had very low expectations. So, it's interesting to see that it's looking accurate. You're wasting your time watching it. I gotta moist meter it. I moist meter pretty much everything new that comes out. Well, new and big, I guess. Thanks for some moon and station. No, I don't know who that is, Hayden. Er, station. Wishing him a speedy recovery. Yep, Exodus from the Earth competition ends in an hour 20. I've got it pulled up in case anyone's on a god run, so just keep me updated. Thanks to the Prime Rat and Water and the Resub Space Cowboy. And the Resub Cassidy. Yeah, I know it's got a 55 on Rotten Tomatoes. I saw. Maybe tier 1 South. I can check that out then, Station. Is he resub Val Valdingus? 
And the bit's the guy. No, I haven't seen the newest one yet. So we trusting Rotten Tomatoes all of a sudden? No, but superhero movies always get good reviews from any major outlets because they're afraid of fan backlash. So the fact that this one somehow didn't, that's, that's setting off a little, a little bit of alarm bells. Like even Thor Love and Thunder has like a 70 or something. Is there a sub Kirby, Ace, Taco, and Puminator? I didn't see that, Sylvie, but that is hype. Well, who knows, Pickle? Uh, eventually, every game. His big thing is selling courses to insecure rich kids. Who? A.G. Hayden? I don't know who this is. How to get five dates in one day. This picture makes him look like Tom Brady's failed clone. Like Tom Brady without getting the buccal fat and his cheeks removed. Alright, how do I get five dates in one day, goddammit? In this video, you're going to learn how I got five dates in one day from the dating apps. First, I used all of the major dating apps, not just one or the other. So I used Smart. Tinder. Cast a Bumble. wide net. Ah, when you miss say something, it's annoying. Tinder, Bumble, Hinge, and the fourth one, which you probably haven't heard of. Omegle. Facebook dating. Facebook dating. My I don't know who here is using Facebook dating. I'm just going to say it. If you are so down bad you're going to Facebook dating, you need to take a hard look in the mirror and start reevaluating some choices. That sounds like a like a sting operation. Thanks to the resub Ivanator since and the prime bun. I did see that, Sylvia. We talked about that. Might not be quite as popular as the other three, but you'd be surprised how good the response rate on that app is. And there because are they're all bots. Cute girls. So those are the four I don't apps know about I that. use. It's all bots. And then on Tinder, Bumble, Facebook dating. and Hinge, I bought boosts. So you can buy two boosts on Tinder for Pay about to win? $10. Okay. Two on Bumble for like $5. And then on Hinge, you can buy a 24-hour boost for $20. So this cost me, what, 35 bucks? Total. When you use two boosts at once on Tinder and Bumble, they last four times as long. So the last two hours instead of 30 minutes, that's the best deal. So I did that on Tinder and Bumble and on Easy each I got 20, word. 30, 40, I don't know, a Marisa lot of Briggs. likes. And then on Hinge, it's probably even better. The 24 hour boost got matches throughout an entire day. Now, one of the keys is that as soon as I get a like, as soon as I get that like, I do the match or if she's gross, you know, I swipe left but i match with her quickly okay <laughs> and then i send a message right away you want to strike while the iron is hot every hour that you don't message the chances of getting a response lower significantly so i message quickly and i look at their profile quickly and if there's some interesting thing to comment on there was one girl who mentioned attachment theory i happen to have a degree in psychology so i was oh. able to make a comment about attachment theory and how that like she really got me going by let me take a peek here. All right, so this guy, he's got the galaxy brain to pussy. He's got a degree in wooing women. Talking about secure attachment in your bio, you're really speaking my language, haha. You just reminded me of the times I was talking to a pretty terrible hinge date last year about attachment theory. Right after he texted me saying, nobody cares about attraction theory. You're the first person to say something nice about it. Okay. <laughs> All right, then. Thanks for the resub. Rue, Ginny, Unstable, Bizia, Arrow, and the Prime J. No, I didn't see any of that, Jay. And I didn't really care for Gorilla's newest album, but hopefully their next one's good. Because I am a fan. Thanks for resub, Cobra. <laughs> Talking about attachment theory in her bio. That's the best message, if you can send something specific to her bio. But I also had a backup plan, which was just to send Dick pic. Uh, a 
message that's what canned a canned message can uh -huh. i be honest question mark and then i say can i be honest the girl's like oh no is she is he gonna say something nice is he gonna say something mean it gets a very high response rate because it's Does intriguing it? in that way the second message is i think you might be exactly my type and then they'll say what is your type or something along those lines and then i have a third i mean they're message, not npcs i don't think they're all gonna say that my type and then if she responds positively to that i just go for the date I'm taking you on a date this week or something along those lines. This sequence is not the best way to get dates, but it's, it's my the best only way. way. So basically, no. the best way is to have something organic that is where you're commenting on her profile, you're saying something interesting, it's banter, it's based off what she says to you and vice versa. However, you're not always going to have something clever to say when you see a girl's bio. So it's very good to have a backup plan, a contingency plan. This is all very broad stroke stuff. Like a message sequence. So Nothing that's why super I have that. Nothing super specific and helpful. I can't think of something in the moment. And just by messaging oh, all the few girls that I matched with. I've always been the dominant one. <laughs> cool. Love to be dominated. Yeah. He's in. Look at Casanova. I ended up getting five dates set up in just one day. And the reason I'm saying this is not because you should even want to go on five dates in one day, but it shows what's possible if you really put in some effort. Now, obviously, part of the key to making this work is having good pictures in the first place. If you have shitty pictures, this is not going to work. You're not going to get a ton of likes. You're not going to get a ton of matches. But He's I want to point out that my previous pictures that ghost. I used on dating apps, Cooter, I was rated as a five sloth. out of ten in terms of looks, and now I have pictures where I'm rated over a nine out of. That looked AI generated. What he he almost looks like he almost looks cell shaded. Also, what what service is this? An algorithm to grade you on smart, trustworthy, and attractive based on one picture? Interesting. Photoshopped? I mean, yeah, I guess it's possible. What is happening over here? His shirt is kind of warping. Maybe it is kind of photoshopped. Or maybe not. Maybe it was just like a really vibrant day. <laughs> And the, the shutter speed, the aperture, all of it, perfect. Over a 9 out of 10. So you might think that I'm just not good looking enough, but it's actually that your pictures aren't optimized. They're not very good. So chances are if you get a new Makes set sense. of better pictures, you'll get many more matches. Possibly even 10 to 100 times as many matches as what you're currently getting. That's why I include on my online course, The Spark, a complete guide oh, to getting high quality pictures on dating apps because most guys don't realize. Uh, I'm, it's, even at his size, so he's not what you'd consider a tier one alpha guru. Even at his size, he is still peddling paid services for shit that people just have access to for free. You need someone to say your pictures suck? Post them on Reddit or Twitter. Instead of paying money for the fucking books, courses, online guru content. It's always so wild. But I can't even be mad at this guy for it. It, it is just a ripe landscape for scamming. It truly is. People just love to throw money at someone they perceive to be an expert on a problem that they're doing the bare minimum to solve in the first place. Like not getting dates. Like, I guarantee, this is all very generic advice, it's not even bad advice, to be fair. But I guarantee no one that's buying his course is even going to bother implementing it. Like, they throw money at the problem and think that's going to magically solve it with no effort on their own part. Or they'll try it once, it doesn't work, and they quit, but they still keep paying for the content. I just, it's so, it's so awful. Ugh. Thanks the resub, Coke, Low Key, E Girl, and the Prime Vivid. Guys, they're leaving 95% of their potential in terms of these apps on the table because their pictures are not nearly as good as they think they are. And there's a process for getting good pictures and then verifying by having actual women 
rate them that they are actually good oh, do you, pictures. Does he have women so on staff that can rate step for him? step-by-step process for getting better pictures on the apps, make sure to click the link below. And I want to clarify that if I wanted to, I could have got a lot more than five dates. I only oh, messaged yeah. probably about a third of my matches so i could have gotten i could have taken this even further there would be no women left in las vegas if this guy didn't put that kind of stipulation on it like if he was just left to run wild there would actually be no pussy left for anyone so thank god he took it easy on the rest of us hour of effort i was able to get five dates in one day mm-hmm mm-hmm and I bet those dates went amazing. Damn. Fucking hype. Thanks to the resub Max TV and Icos. Bro used a Pokemon incense. Yeah. His Riz was off the charts. I. Again, we are just lucky he spared the rest of us because anyone's girlfriend or wife that happens to live in Las Vegas with them, hey, she's not yours anymore. Not when this guy's got access to a phone. Things are the bits hollow. So is this course all about just getting a date from dating apps? Oh, he also does, like, infield approaches at fucking Target. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's, it's feeling a lot like 2015 again. I, I, I've got to at least take a, a slight plunge. I want to get, like, a subscription model of Plan B, actually, because I am just dropping so much money on that shit. It's like getting absurd oh, a lot God. of guys we're, we're taught to think that if you want to get a hot girl you want to get a date with a woman that you see you got to be smooth as james bond you got to be good looking you got to be tall you got to be smooth you got to have all these qualities or you're gonna fail you're gonna get laughed at you're gonna get humiliated but in this video i'm <laughs> going to show you that a normal looking guy with a very normal approach can have success and that means you he's not wrong him. yeah you're i not, mean you know no tr <laughs> imagine this if you're just not weird, you you'll probably have success at some point with a woman. It's it's just don't be weird. Lesson complete. I didn't even need to buy the course. For Domus or some some shit, right? If you're not some extreme case, I just want to so see the approach. Like, hey, you're oh, he's not even doing the approach. He's grading it. Well, how about this one? How to pick up any girl in thirty seconds plus infield. Infield is a pickup artist term. It means he's like out there, boots on the ground on the front line, absolutely slaying vagina. So we get to see the master at work, I suppose. Leaving the Jedi pick temple. Up any girl in just 30 seconds. Now, this is not a method that I'm just making up out of my ass. This is actually something I've done multiple times in the last year to tier actually one, Nick get in dates with pig champagne women. So here it is. Vin. You see a girl anywhere it doesn't matter and if it's Nev, a club a bar the street the wherever tired. you see a girl that you find attractive go right up to her this make sure that you Sylvian give her zombie. some space pretend that the covid restrictions are still real because i see a lot of guys get in too close and it makes the girls uncomfortable give her some space and here's what you say i hope this isn't too forward but i had to say that you're very beautiful and there's something about you that really caught my attention i'm, a, I'm hoping there's some flexibility to that line because uh, that line's just going to get you immediately laughed at. I, I just can't imagine a single human being being receptive to that. That's just always going to be creepy. That's that Reddit nice guy energy, which people are hardwired like in their DNA to reject. So hopefully that's just like a, like a template and you, you can like <laughs> kind of freestyle in there with normal conversational tactics. Can I just say, yeah. you're really cute. Thank well, the you. top third of your face is really cute. <laughs> Thank you. I can't make judgments on the rest. Now, if she brushes you off, she ignores you, she just keeps walking, doesn't What's seem that? interested, it's probably not going to happen, and you don't need to waste your time. Oh, that was him in but field. there's Got a it. good chance that she has a boyfriend or something like that. However, if she says thank you, she asks you a question, anything like that, that's a great initial sign. So make sure to pause after this sentence and give her a chance to react. The next sentence, and this is getting right to the point, I have to go meet some friends, 
but I'd like to take you out later this week. And again, hold a pause, give her the chance to react. Okay, so do you think you might be able to sneak away at some point during the weekend and hang out for like a coffee or something? Maybe. Maybe? Well, let's try. Maybe we'll have a double date. Yeah. Since they seem to get along as well. I know. All right, it was great to meet you. Yeah. If she says, I have a boyfriend, I'm not interested, just move on. The reality is, Thanks some women Sibliana do have boyfriends, or they're a lesbian, the or whatever. G4. It's not going to happen with every girl. But a lot of the time, <laughs> they'll either say, okay, or, oh, uh, maybe. Or, some or they're just not interested, man. I always like that. Let me let me make sure I got that lesson. If they say no, they're either, they either have a boyfriend, or they're a lesbian. Some women do have boyfriends, or they're a lesbian, or whatever. It's not going to happen with every girl. But a lot okay. of... Those are, like, really the only two things. They either already have a boyfriend who most likely bought this course and rizzed her up, or they're just straight up a lesbian. Half the time, they'll either say okay or oh, uh, maybe, or something where they're leaving the door open to the possibility, and then all you have to do is lead and then oh my God, Rod. yourself. Thank you, man. Tell Holy her your fuck. name, ask for her name. Thank you so and much, Rod. Oh my God. To set up plans. And the key to making this Thank work you, is one to use pauses, to let the tension build in the pauses. Every time you finish your sentence, just look at her with strong eye contact and let the pause hang there for a moment. Let the tension build. Second <laughs> is to have a vocal tonality that is both confident and assertive, but also friendly. Can I just say, yeah. you're really cute. Thank well, the you. top third of your face is oh. really cute. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, this is only example for this? I thought it was gonna great. be full infield I work here. I say you're really beautiful. And not, hi, I, I just wanted to say, you're, you're very beautiful. Now you might be thinking, don't I need to get to know the girl for like 20, 30 minutes? Yes, if you do that, there will be more comfort. There'll be more of a sense of getting to know the other I was hoping to see more of the master at work. That was very short. Picking up a hot girl in three minutes. It's the same example. Has this only worked a single time for him? This is from two years ago. It's the same clip that he just used three weeks ago. I'm... Surely if this is the secret formula, the Krabby Patty secret formula to getting laid, or at least guaranteeing a date, it would have worked more than once in two years. Why keep repeating the same clip? Thanks to the resub small and midnight. Guy didn't even finish the deal. He started walking away before getting her number to set up the date. Okay, I'm going to give him a very generous leap here and assume that he just cut that part out because you are right. He's like, yeah, well, let's try. Let's uh, let's go on a double date sometime. And then they start separating. Like, yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe. I'm, I'm assuming, and this, I understand it's a leap, they may have exchanged numbers prior. Have a double date. Yeah. Since they seem to get along as well. I know. All right. It was great to meet you. Yeah. If she says I have a boyfriend, yeah. I I'm just gonna assume they must have exchanged numbers as opposed to just instantly separating like that. He's giving them space and pausing for two years to build tension. <laughs> Thanks to the resub. Fentanyl and the gift sub again, Ron. Thank you, man. How many views did the video have? Uh, the original one was 350k. So it looks like he's tried to be like the alpha male coach for quite some time now. And I, I'm going to tell you, it's probably quite successful. Again, he's not like the biggest this alpha male, going to learn how like metric wise. But the beauty of being a guru in this kind of space is you only need a couple of suckers that just keep coming back over and over and over again. Here, like here, let me see how much this course costs. Give me a second. What's it called? The Spark? Yeah. Top dating expert reveals how to covertly spark attraction with any woman instantly and subliminally. Includes hidden camera footage of my method in action. 
which I don't even know if it's fully legal to do that, but I mean, whatever, I guess. Because in this first one, they seem to be like, well, actually, no, it's probably fine. It's probably public space. It's a casino. <laughs> uh, where's the price, though? Man, just reading this is rough. The nerdy virgin who became an international playboy. I used to be hopeless with women, probably worse than you ever were. I read over 270 books about what sparks that seemingly mythical emotion known as desire. And I even got a degree in psychology. Well, then you should know the answer is super simple and free. Don't be weird. <laughs> it just improves your chances drastically. Where's the price, though? There's the resub Bean, Kitten, and the Prime Luke in Tier 1 Bum. And the resub Squids. Oh, here we go. Give me instant access to the Spark right now for just $7. That is so much cheaper than most of the other ones. And you get some bonus shit as well. The DTF test, which is a total value of $97, and you get it for free. The shockingly simple two-step system that will allow you to find out if a woman wants to hook up with you. I'm going to tell you, if you need to buy a test to try and verify that, the answer is likely no. She doesn't want to. This one's called the Charisma Blueprint with a total value of $47, and you get it for free with the Spark. The Obsession Formula DVD, total value of $67, and you get it for... F oh my god, Jesus! <laughs> Here, I'll, I'll bring it down. I was going to leave it up there, but I don't feel like reading through all of it. So for $7, you get the Spark, and then the Spark gives you like 15,000 bonus DLCs. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. And the price will increase to $50 very soon. I don't know about that. It's been two years. I imagine it stayed at $7 the whole time. It's like watching an old as-seen-on-TV commercial. Total value of six fifty-five dollars today for just $7. Holy shit, I'm losing money not buying it. I also would love to know where the valuations come from. I made it up. Interesting. I thought this was going to be like another like $50, $60 course that most of the gurus sell. Some of them are even so shameless they go up to like hundreds. But this guy's just like, please, just $7. <laughs> God, please, just, just fucking $7. Things that resub creep, Rhonda, and the bits station, and Tommy. Oh, that sounds very sad, Station. I don't think I'll watch that. Buy it for a video? No, it, there's no reason to do that. It, I just... I appreciate the uh, Alpha Guru community from a distance. There's no reason to actually, like, engage with buying that kind of shit. It, it's very clear what all of it's going to be anyway. Is the resub one? I'm gonna buy a thousand courses for seven dollars and flip them when their value goes back up. That's genius. Beautiful idea. Is the prime Huey and the resub one? We've watched them before, Sylvia, actually. I know that channel, thanks to the Prime Gunner. Thanks to the resub Weenie and Rumble.
Something's a bit silly. The egg yolks are fooling you. Fuck. The title like that. Does he not come up anymore? Hmm. He's a prime colonel in the resub grant. And the prime goose in resub squilliam. No, he spelled yolks wrong, it's yolks. Oh. Still didn't come up. Probably not, Mac. And thanks to the bits, whiskey. He spelled it yox. Still nothing. What do you mean, showing results at the top? Your filler, your filler is auto-correcting the search. Oh. Still nothing. Thanks the Resub Mountains. Okay. Still nothing. <laughs> it just doesn't come up at all. What's happening? It's just one of the. This is a guy who's very deep in the consp. Oh, here it is. He did spell it yoke, not yox, but still misspelled it. I'm pretty sure this is the same guy from like a year ago who was doing the uh, Anunnaki stuff, I think. have to do with egg yolks. When does the egg come into play? about eggs. Eggs are some kamikaze, catman, and mountains. I'm very familiar with that one method. Seen the TikToker who thinks he's the reincarnation of Adolf? Yeah. I did see that and that was all over Twitter. Yeah, that the whole Anunnaki crowd is very interesting. That conspiracy is very odd. 
There's a guy in Atlanta posts signs all around that thinks all mass shooters are Anunnaki and you can find by searching the Anunnaki killed 17k. It's what he puts on the signs. Yeah, that whole community is like <clears throat> alarming. Is he sub flashy? The Anunnaki is real. Hold on. Let me look something up if this channel's still around. No, it doesn't seem like it's still around. There is a channel that used to talk about the Anunnaki time traveling octopus, if you guys remember that one. And they were using evidence that, um, like, Kanye West had been transmogrified through a wormhole in by the Anunnaki or something. Fuck, what was that channel? Damn, it's been a while. But yeah, I'm familiar with that, the, the community. I thought it was just, like, fanfic, but it's actually kind of alarming. Exit Prime floats minute Minaseka and the resub Jazzin and Raven. Yeah, I saw that ghost. No different than Scientology. Yeah, it's pretty similar. Yeah, those two are pretty similar. You're right. At least with my baseline understanding of both of them. He's a prime Casey. <clears throat> and he's a tier one Daniel. And the resub shiny. I need destiny tonight. No, not grinding it tonight. We'll go back to grinding it pretty soon though. Bits of Donuts. And there you sub Dan, Jesus Adonis. I don't know, that might be the one I drew, I don't remember. It's been a long time. I think it's the prime equals in the resub skirmzy. The resub blank. Whew. Do you plan to do Destiny Season Year Finale? It just dropped today. Oh, right, I wanted to watch that. Jackson said it was really cool. Is the resub way? Hey, sneaky. Maybe Sylvie. Hey, does. I still haven't finished the Witch Queen campaign. I should really do that at some point. It's happening again. The whirlwind. Perilous. 
Don't worry. The great machine will never abandon anyone again. Thanks, Tier One, Maddie. I don't know anything about the fucking lore of this game. <laughs> I think the Traveler's what gives us the light, right? Make it now. Yeah, okay. Just plug him back in if you miss him that much. Anna, look. Yeah, I don't understand the uh, lore implications there, but cool. <clears throat> Thanks to Tier 1 Giggle and the resub. Poo 2 and Fallout. Uh, probably can't watch that, Zen. Thank you for the 20 gift subs, Infinite. Thank you for the fat drop, man. Unplugging him saved the Traveler. Okay. So now that the Traveler is saved, you can just plug him back in. Like, just unplug him when you need it to be invincible, right? What stops you from just doing that? It kills him? Oh. Shame. Yeah, no, I, I actually know nothing about the Destiny lore. Things are a bit stankin'. And the Risa Blade. And Rest Easy in the Prime Tweedle. Yeah, 
Did I see the Alone in the Dark remake trailer? Yeah, of course I did. That was a while ago. Some of the lore is interesting or fun, but overall the story that's presented to the player, even its best moments, is for real ass. Well, when the, when the game first came out, I remember the campaign had a very weak story. I remember, like, the main big bad boss got, like, choked. Like, he picked him up by the neck and he just, like, instantly died. He's like, Hip -ah! he just fucking croaks. I still couldn't believe they killed him that way. And I know they sunset all of that, so the original Destiny campaign, like, that whole thing, that guy, like, he doesn't even exist anymore. So after all that, I never bothered keeping up with the lore, even when playing, so I never even knew shit about Kallus. I just really loved that raid, and I loved him as a character, like, the way he looked, but I never knew shit about him, and I never bothered to try and catch up. I know they improved it, though. That's not what happened. Yeah, it is. I even remember it pretty well. I don't know if it was, like, the main boss, but, like, one of the big figures in the original Destiny 2 campaign, the way he dies is he just gets, like, lightly strangled. He's just, like, a... <laughs> dead. Um, what was the main bad guy's name in that? Was it the speaker? The, the speaker dies by fat guy. <laughs> okay. Laid waste by the very same guardian that somehow managed to reclaim its power and has been humiliated and taken. Go. You have already been chosen, not by some inert machine, but by me. I chose you the day I found None of this exists anymore in the game, does it? Remember who you are. Isn't that crazy? You are. You are command. This was Destiny 2's campaign. You will take the light. Do what you swore and give me the vengeance you promised. Look at me, student. Look at me. <laughs> do what I swore, old friend. I am gone. And I will. He's dead. Like, I hold my breath longer than that when I'm, like, washing my face in the shower, and yet somehow he died from that. There's the resub wizard king in tier one dragons. And the resub Rigo and the Prime attending and the resub Ivory. And uh, I don't know about that one, Stankin. And the resub Nice Guy. Fourth video is goaded. Which one's that? Oh, yeah. Is this a Cade 6 death? I think it is, right? This is also uh, vaulted, right? There's a resub floof. And the resub snowman. vaulted meaning it's no longer in the game like it's still canon as far as i know but it's not in the game any longer so like you can't play it thanks to the gifts of d17 the resub yarl snowman spice and red eye
lore goes deeper than most IPs, just poor presentation over the years. Yeah, it was just a really rough start because I remember universally across the board, the initial games campaign narrative was panned. Like, people were not pleased with it for, for obvious reasons. It wasn't great. And they didn't really do a great job of, like, getting lore to the players in an effective way or telling a good, compelling story until probably Forsaken. I remember when Jackson and I played through Forsaken, that was, like, the first time. Jackson's a huge lore buff. Like, especially for Bungie shit with, like, Halo. And it wasn't until Forsaken where he, like, really got into it and was like, okay, there's a good story here. But I'd already given up. I think the tier one green in the prime Verizon. I did see that mood. It was very sweet. The Lightfall expansion is going to be all about Kallus. Yep, that's what Jackson said, which makes me excited because I really like Kallus. I think he's very cool. <clears throat> the resub Pika. How many more days for the Exodus challenge? 30 minutes. So... 30 more minutes. I didn't remember that one very well, Gravity. Thanks the bits suck. Zach's still going crazy. I know he just got a third place run not too long ago. Thanks to tier one, Oki. The history video will go hard. Yeah, this one's going to take quite a while, though, because this has by far been one of the, like, biggest evolving speedruns I've ever gotten to watch in real time. The run started at an hour, six minutes, and that was a very optimized run, by, mind you. Like, this was pretty fucking optimized, and now it's down to under 21. It hasn't updated yet, but the first place is under 21. The glitches, the tech, the tricks, all of them that have been found, it's an... It's a huge list. So it's it's pretty wild. Can we watch some runs? Uh let's see. Looks like Mute's the only one somewhat into a run here. When we do another tier list? We're probably going to redo the frozen pizza tier list since I burned every frozen pizza. So we'll probably do that one again pretty soon. Turning in that car is the scariest thing in the world. Yeah. So it's a good thing they found so many uh, glitches in tech to speed up all the car sections. Thanks, you resub tech man. I just came out my pants. Same. Amen, brother. <laughs> Okay, exit yeah, tier one, Smokey. Watch the world record instead. Well, there's 30 minutes left. I'd love to be here, like, for Amok when we watch the world record run. But I, you know, it's going to be tough here. Oh, well, Zach's also at pretty much the same spot. Zach's third place, I believe. Uh, hold on, let me double check. I believe Unity still first place, and then Muddy, Muty, Mud, is it Muddy or Muty? Because I've been getting mixed responses on that. He should be second, because he's got a 21-15. I mean, I 
have 16 health going into the uh here Kronos just sent me one thing there. it's muty okay also, this run is like crazy fast, but it's like the angle team. He said Cypher's on a good run right now. Thanks for your sub Tempest. Thanks for your sub Steak Boy and Craddy. Oh no. Oh, that's so sad. Tough. God, that's so unlucky. Moist uh, was here. Nice. Thanks, the resub up med. When's the cutoff? 27 minutes. Today's the last day of the two weeks. Oh, fuck. Moderator. Already got the next game planned? Not yet. Not yet. This one felt like it flew by. Yeah. Well, not, I don't know. It kind of felt like the same duration as AMOC. I mean, it is the same duration. I think AMOC runs were just so tedious that it felt longer. These are like really high full throttle runs. So maybe that's why it felt faster. I see tier one Chi and the resub Axel. And the resub Shorzer. Amok had Ouija and Distortion bringing eyes to the game. Ouija did run this one until recently. Distortion did not, though. Distortion, uh, I believe, was mainly doing the Elden Ring glitchless category as Ring well as um, Dark and Darker. So he did not do this one. Hey, Meadow. Yeah. Nice chance. Krona said Zach is now on PB as well. Everyone's on the same like part right now. Jesus. Oh, that's rough. Oh, never mind. Still saved. It's continuous. Did I play Apex today? No. I played yesterday, though. Super mod Mickey here. I can't even see what the copy or the like the, the thing is. Things are resub quack. I only ban them if they're like uh, not safe for work or something. Am I gonna finish Hogwarts? Probably not. I just didn't really get into it.
Yep. Competition ends today. It might be a little longer than, <laughs> than like two weeks from now to do the video on this one because there's so much. But yeah, next bounty will go up sometime in March. I won't say for sure two weeks because there is a lot to cover with this run. Thanks, Resub Axel. And the resub sizzle, or yeah, sizzle. Guys, it was just a thumb. Who's in first right now? Unity. I don't even think he's running. He's not even running it right now. Man hit a walk-off home run with his uh, his world record run. <clears throat> so it's Unity, Muty, and Zach right now. Second try, Crane Skip. That's pretty solid. Things of five, give subs Grizzle. And the resub, Verosus and Kyoji. How knowledgeable are you on this game? I'd say extremely. I've seen every single speed tech clip that's been posted <laughs> since the Genesis. What the heck is going and on? I've watched so many fucking runs by now. Why'd she shield that with you? <laughs> shield mode's a good idea. Is the resub a Manson? Did the original guy ever comment on anything? Yeah, he was in the Discord, like, the whole time. He just didn't compete. Which I was surprised by. I thought he would have competed for sure. Oh, God. Got it. They're so good. <laughs> trying to figure out how chat works. If you haven't seen these runs yet, you're in for a really nice treat. All swear words are getting banned. Thomas is totally fucked up the chat. The skips got crazy. The skips got unreal. The summoning salt video on this one's gonna go so fucking hard. Things of Prime, Artura, and they give subs, Snai. Oh, this might not be good. I kinda have low health. You don't have to add the permitted turn, man. Just turn it. Just fix the chat. Thanks for the bits, Kachow. What? How am I stuck? How's my car stuck? What in the world? Will summoning salt voice a video? No, it's it's just us. It's just summoning salt style, like we did for Amok. It's not a hate raid, man. It's Charlie's viewers. <laughs> Does crouch spam makes you faster? Makes you invincible. The enemies can't hurt you when you're crouching, so you spam crouch. Thanks, you resub orange. Whoever found out about the crouch thing made this game a hundred times better. I know, the stupid fucking crouch deck is great. It's so good. Hmm. 
No, I didn't see that, Sylvie. I haven't seen too much from Bing's AI. Okay. Thanks, every sub hero. Thanks, every sub Kobos. Unlucky. Damn, I looked away for one second. Did he not get over? Just put it in like one day follower only mode. No, he didn't. God, that it's sucks. Like Unlucky. Days. That was a good run. Exit tier one guilty. Kronos says Kissy Mob's run is still going in its top three pace. Thanks the resub sanguine. How much longer is the competition? 18 minutes. Nice. There you go. Oh no. Oh, there you go. Okay, okay. I've seen too many death loops not be able to be saved. Oh, yeah, here. Nope, that's not the one. That's not the one. Thanks, Resub Square. That's. That is so sad. Thanks, the Resub Ghost and Herrock. What happened in the chat? Someone dipped. Thanks, Resub Decent. Oh no, the tech is brutal, Sylvia, yeah. Did he start over? Had to. Helping, right? Unfortunately. It was a good run that was getting cooked up there though, but yeah. What's the fastest time right now? It's just under 21 minutes. Can't remember exactly what it is, but it's just under 21 minutes. It's from Unity. So even if I restart <clears throat> around one minute before, you know, it's over, it's not a guarantee I'll just get out of C13 like Thanks, that. Thanks, Resubjet. It's a 2058, nice. Will you count runs that started before midnight but ended after? Yep. As long as the run is done before midnight, it'll count. I'm hoping that happens at some point during one of these bounties. The world record run is done at 11.59. Starts at 11.59. I think that'd be so hype. I don't know, it might be worth to reset. I don't, I don't know. Can he, can he make up 12 seconds, 13 seconds somewhere? I think the resub arm in Jonah. Yeah, you can. Where at? 
He has like 20 at the end. Okay. We need a god run. Be able to clutch this. He lost like 20 seconds on Mars. Okay. Thanks to resub heart. Way too dank. Thanks to resub crazy. How much the how much does the winner get for this one? Sixty five hundred. Same as last time. The only change is the uh, most influential glitch in the meta is also getting a thousand bucks for the person who discovered it, or I guess the team. Thanks to resub drunk. Turn off alerts. Let's Parker. Penguins, watch this video if you support gay people. Oh my god, I can't get rid of this guy. That's so unlucky because he's in the middle of a run. Tough. Can I still donate if you ban him, somebody? Who are we attributing the C13 tech skip to? That's what I, I don't know yet. Because that's going to be a community decision since that was such a wide team effort. So we'll, we'll have to figure it out. If that's the one the community decides on, which I have a, a sneaking suspicion it will be since it saved literally like 30 minutes on its own. So we'll see. Oh, oh sad. Oh, there you go. Not a big time loss. All good. Thanks, Prime Scare. Okay. Okay, never mind. <laughs> what? On trigger? Yeah, probably. <laughs> okay, Natali, thank you for the 50 subs. Much appreciated. Everybody enjoy your gifted subs. We are on 256 pace here, so we're going to lose 4 seconds, but it's okay, I guess. Thank you for the 50 subs. What the hell? Did so someone drop a 50 in there? That's fucking huge. I want to finish a run. Everybody just chill. Entre, entre, homes, you late. I'll do it if I'm hungry, yes. Oh, it was Rod again? God, Rod's such a sweetheart. Thanks, Reese Spencer. Oh my god, Charlie. <laughs> Thank you for the 27 You keep up with the speedrun Discord? Yep. I have through pretty much the whole thing. This actually looks like a PS2 game. You wanna know something crazy? This game came out the same year as Halo 3. I didn't know that can happen. I didn't know you can fall through there. Well, this is probably rigged. Do you think people will run this after the challenge is over? For Amok, no one's touching that speedrun ever again. This game, I could see actually having a community because the glitches are super good. Thanks, Resub Rintel. He had to reset because he fell there, which lost him like an additional like six, seven seconds, so there was just no reason to continue. Thank you, Charlie. Is what's happening right now? Please. He's throwing me up. How close are the top runs? Unity 2058. I think Muty is 2112, right? Or is it? Oh no, I think. It's 
Is it? I think it's 2112. I don't think it's 2115. I thought it was a 2112. I see it here, but I thought it was a 2112. Might just be misremembering. And then Zach is third place at 21. Um, 21. I don't remember. Not too far behind. They're close. They're close. Oh, here we go. Kronos got it. Unity 2058, Mutie 2115, and then Zach 2134. Oh, and Kisi Mavid at 2134 as well. So that's when that's going to come down to milliseconds between them. Here's the resub Cubone and Leon. Yep, final four minutes. Thank you for the thousand bits, Flesh Mundo, okay? Oh god. Losing by milliseconds is brutal. True. <laughs> yeah. If you look side to side, do you jump higher? It's just a little faster. It's it's pseudo bunny hopping kind of. So you can get a little more distance on your jumps, and you just generally get around a little quicker. I bet I guess. Names here. I'm just gonna say this in case. Doubtful, Sylvie. The actual history. I'm on it. Baby. I'm on it. Will he make it? He doesn't have to be done by midnight. He started this run before midnight, so he can comfortably finish it. It's just a matter of he has three minutes if he wants to reset to do another one. Because he is a little behind his best time. But he can always make it up. Three minutes. There's no way I'm going to reset, dude. Okay, it seems like he's going to stick it out. What if I don't get out of C13? Chill. This run is fine. Is he tier 1 Nico? C13 too risky. That's what he just said as well. The final round of unity. If I don't beat you, it is what it is, man. This guy in the lead, he's second place. But he's only slightly behind first place. Thanks for your sub, mm. Gustav. Thank you so much for all the gifted subs, guys. It's gonna be a tight little ass greaser, I'll tell you what. Thanks for your sub, Shock. Alright. Okay. Huge. Okay, we got a dam. Thanks, a prime rush. Okay. Oh, baby. This is looking pretty good. Barely. It's a prime kachow and the five gift subs drunk gamer. Thank you, man. And the resub boogie and resub bread. The tire. Thanks, the resub sulop. Mm. 
Yep, that's midnight. The curtain is closed, so no more resets. This is the final run for him and every other runner. I imagine every other runner is currently on a run. Thanks for another five goose subs, drunk gamer. Appreciate it, man. I don't think we're gonna run out by the end of the run. Pretty sure it's not gonna happen. Quiet all of form before she's going. Keep going. It's gonna keep going until the end of time. It'd be legendary if he hits this. It would be. Quiet all of form before she's pride. Oh, that's clean. Even just minor things like that is so impactful in a game like this. Clutch. Stop chatting, sorry. Okay. Quiet doors, only for she's surprised. The car strats have really evolved. Oh my god, yeah, they have. Everything car related is as optimized as possible. It's. I don't think there's anywhere else they could have even found a time save, really. Is the recent okay, time. So backstory. The point of the shit sprite is about what game is this? Exodus from the Earth. And this is from like a clown, basically in the half life. Maybe silly. I just don't think that'd be possible. He has an entire soundboard dedicated to him. Hey, Bob Toad. I just shortened it from five hundred dollars to five. Five dollars only for she's five. Way too dank. Exit Prime Bartow. Same guys that says you will be crushing. Five dollars. Make the Prime comfy. She's five. Mm, I cannot reset Yummy. anymore. Fresh meat. And there's a resub TG. That's possible 2029. 20, oh! Got two bits. I get for the tier 1 sub. No, I probably won't do Dark and Darker tonight. I'll probably do Apex new season. Mm, yummy. Haven't decided yeah, though, we'll see. I need some money. Can you give us some money? I need some dosh right now. Can anyone Thanks give me a prime dark wing. Money, I want drugs now. Dosh, grab it while you can, lads. Dosh, money, money, money. Thanks for the bits, Kinway. I get paid seitsemän Yhdysvaltain no, probably not Kinway. I'm from Africa. I can't afford this watch. It. Yes, I have finished TTS. This is funny. Mmm, yummy. Fresh meat. This is the last day? Yeah, I mean, it's over right now. This is the last run. Well, it, it his last run. I don't know if anyone else is currently still on a good one. Mm, yummy. Fresh meat. I think we're nowhere near the end of the list with all the, uh... Yeah. We only finished mm. up the first... Oh, Kizzy Mob's on one still? Okay, meat. that's gonna be interesting. No, 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 no. Oh, I saw for a second, like, my, uh, my dancing. I'm like, only no, for she's bright.
Please tell me I have some food. Mm, yummy. Fresh meat. Nice. <laughs> yeah, Unity was so clean in this whole challenge. Is this run winnable? It is. Uh, he just needs to play almost perfect. Oh, nice car fixes. No. Oh my god. Oh my god. For a second, I thought it stuck. No matter who wins, I'm. I actually cherish the fact that I got to race Unity in a challenge like this, because I know where he comes from. I know what he's. Thanks for some tech. I don't think that hit. Thanks for the resub 420. What if I could do a sub 10? That'd be wild. Alright, if you haven't seen this before, thanks for sub Anthony. Joining in. That we have buddy on the moist channel. Ooh. Nice. Huge. And if you thought that was cool, wait till you see the second part. Thanks to the resub spoder in knowledge. So you have to crouch there to not die on the landing? No. Uh, you spam jump and also quick loads and shit like that. That's how you can cancel dying on the fall like that. Not crouch. Crouch only prevents damage from enemies. Thanks, Risa Wolfen. And then here comes the big bounce. Oh, pretty low though. Why is it? Why is my FPS low? Please don't be a bad omen. Mm, nice. Yummy, fresh meat. Big, big, big. Mm, yummy, fresh meat. We just saw a run end here a minute ago. Hopefully it doesn't happen again. Oh no. Oh no, it's happening! There you go. Eh. I don't think that was too bad of a time loss, right? Like, this should still be doable. I don't think it's that bad. I think this is still doable. Mm, yummy. I hope you enjoyed that run, everybody watching. This is what we call a death exit. Good shit. Let the cutscene play. Mm, oh damn. Yummy. Fresh meat. I'll take second place. Still a good run. He he secured second place. I don't think there's anyone else still on a run. So Unity, Muty, Zach, mm, yeah. first, second, third.
show cutscene. Okay, okay. Let's watch this fucking terrible cutscene. No more runners, uh, so it is a lock. Alright. Pretty fucking good. Like I said, this this video, the history video on this one, is going to take a lot longer than the AMOC one. This there is a been, lot more to cover. What are you doing? Why is it going around again? Alright, let's watch this beautiful cutscene. Uninstall on the stream. We will, we will. We will. Don't you worry. Three golds last time. This game's gonna be tough to top. It was honestly nuts. I know. Hopefully, we can find another one Imagine. as good as this one. Imagine like, close to. I'm hoping for more games like this and less of, like, AMOC. It's just, this is a really, like, hype one to watch. Amok was a really hype one to meme. So maybe, like, a nice marriage of the two. Yep, this was the most recent bounty. It just ended today. Two weeks is up. Two fucking weeks, dude. This was brutal. Yeah, I'm just gonna have a shit ton of chocolate, so I don't care. Was I just <laughs> that's it. Look. Do you have an idea of who wins best skip? Uh, uh, that's going to be up to the community. I just imagine it'll be C13. So most likely on trigger, but that's going to be a community decision. Such a half-wit as Frisbee. He's a prime sharp. <laughs> he said it! He said the title of the game! The king of the evil. The lord. He's a bit suck. What are we doing? Yeah, we just watching the last runs of Exodus from the Earth for the speedrun bounty. What if you die? Will everything be flown sky high? You are a dreamer, Frank. But in fact, well, I'm also The cutscene is longer than the run. <laughs> it's true. It's cut out. Mm, yummy. Fresh meat. Look at the prime Taylor and the resub stanky. And the prime Nate. World record 2058 from Unity. I guess we're finished. Is it Discord? Okay, one second. Make the prime links. Yeah, I heard they're both going to be uninstalling the game now to celebrate. What a shame. I mean, these are memories that'll last a lifetime. Please. I'm just curious. I want to check Lun's post. And, okay, nobody. So I'm second place, right, guys? Do you think sub-20 was possible? I think if this went another week, we'd see a sub-20. Yes, I do. Hold on. Hello. What's up? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Did the dev react to this? No, this game's from 2007 from a defunct company. So I doubt they even, even knew about this. I, I can't watch them uninstall this masterpiece. That hurts me. This has been a game that's been a staple in my Steam account for the last seven years. Interview the winner. So I think that'd be better for the video this time around. Like to actually get insight from the top runner. I think that'd be a little bit better. So I do want to hit Unity up about that. 
Because that's something Summoning Salt has done before, too. So I think that would be better. I think the tier 1 magic marker. Thanks to the gifts of Windy City. You play some Apex today? Probably, yeah. New season. Give it a whirl. No, I don't watch High Speed Chases live just in case of terms of service shit like a death or a crash or something. You gonna play with the moist team members? I'd like to, but it won't be tonight. Things get sub rupture. And yeah, Matt, Danny, and I are gonna start grinding Apex. Things are sub penguin. And the bits, Sylvie. The game went on sale for the duration of the competition. Did it? I thought that was only for like the first two days or so. I can't, I, I didn't know it went the whole time. You're going to be giving honorable mentions to the people who made notable uh, notable efforts behind the scenes. For the Summoning Salt video, the history of the bounty, of course. Because we're going to be going through all the glitches in the tech, telling the whole story. I'm going to watch the chase when it's done. I'm not taking a chance. Did you see the new Mr. Krabs overdose speed run? <laughs> Is there still people running it? No, I didn't see it. Have you seen Cocaine Bear? It's not out yet, but yeah, I've seen the trailers for it. <sighs> they all uninstalled simultaneously. I know, it's painful. It's such a good game too, it shit's iconic. ABC7 started way late in the chase. Ah, gotcha. Thanks to resub, Blaze. Whew. Are you waiting for the chase? Probably before starting something else. Usually they only go like 30 minutes or so, so it's probably almost done.
No audio on Fox 11. Amateurs. They literally never get away. We actually did see one person get away once. <clears throat> Maybe a bit silly. I don't know, Snurt, I just keep forgetting. We talked about Ohio with the derailment and all of that. Yeah. We saw two people get away. Oh, yeah, we did see two people get away. One of them they let go, though, because he ended up just going home. And they didn't want to, like, recklessly chase him to his house. But the other one they actually just evaded. Here's the reset back up. In the Prime Caspian. You see the old school RuneScape drama? I did! You're talking about McCune, aren't you? Whoops. I have been keeping up. This guy is quite the piece of shit. And yeah, we already talked about the Atomic Heart stuff. <sighs> what happened? The uh, guy's just a giant douchebag. He was well known in the community for being like an asshole. He's also a pretty shit tier PKer, so he used to just get farmed. But he had a Discord server where he just... So he would, like, he'd sell his own girlfriend's nudes for money in the game. It was one thing. He also was constantly using, like, the F-slur and shitting on all kinds of different people for different things. It's just, like, a laundry list of shit. But I, I think it was even his ex-girlfriend, so it's literally revenge porn, which is a felony. I could be wrong, though. I might be misremembering. I don't know if it's current or ex, but yeah, he would sell his girlfriend's or ex-girlfriend's nudes for, like, 15 mil. In the game. But yeah, he's just a giant piece of shit. Revenge porn isn't a felony in every state or country. I'm pretty sure you're wrong. Revenge porn is actually pretty serious crime. Let's see. Yeah, it's literally every single state. I just googled it. Oh no, it's not every single one. There is three that have uh, no laws against it. South Carolina, Mississippi, and Wyoming. Wyoming, there's not enough people in there to even consider like revenge porn as a thing. The other two, I guess they're just way fucking off. But everywhere else has uh, revenge porn laws. Those are the bits, Aku. People need to stop giving porn out. You are very confused on what revenge porn is. This was his significant other, whom had probably sent him private pics. Well, I, I, that, uh, that is the case. And he started selling those when they broke up for in-game gold. It's called revenge porn. It's not like they were making porn that they were leaking. Hey, thanks for the raid, Gunner. Hope you had a good stream. In Mississippi, it's called Family Photos. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> nice. Thanks. I really do appreciate it, Gunner. Hope you're well.
No, McEwen's just a RuneScape PKer. He he just had like a reputation for being kind of dog shit at PKing, but he achieved some notoriety, and then all of that other stuff started coming out about him. So just a big piece of shit all around. I've kept up. I know he got banned today. Thanks to the Bits, Texas. Some guy climbed a crane in Dallas and stayed up there for 24 hours in the rain yesterday. For fun or like for what? I do remember that show, Sylvie. Is God Slap any good? Best goddamn comic ever made. Issue 3 comes out in 7 days. Is God Slap available digitally? Yeah. Are you going to review Walmart's bootleg moist merch? We are, actually. Yeah. I want to check that shit out. Absolutely. Thanks, Arisa Wanden. When's the God Slap Netflix adaptation coming out? That I don't know, but we got the final mix of our God Slap theme song from one of my favorite bands that I commissioned for it. And the anime opening is, it's getting, it's getting there to, it's probably getting close to the halfway point. So that should be ready within the next like month and a half or so. So I don't know when the full series is going to be ready, but we're making big moves in the meantime. Have you seen the Witcher the Witcher 3 vagina drama? Basically CD Project Red stole some guy's vagina mod. Nah, it's hype though. Nice. Mm I know about the car chase. We're going to check it out once it's done. I don't watch them live just in case something that goes against terms happen. And no, I haven't seen that yet, Mac. I can check that out in a bit, though. Is God slap better than the Bible? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, that's 100. Yeah. Like, they're, you know, they're equal. On equal footing. Just depends on your personal tastes. Mm -mm, I didn't know about that, Sneaky. Who won the Exodus speedrun challenge? Unity. Thanks, the reset brain. A car chase tier list. <laughs> yeah, we're getting to a point where you could actually tier list them. There have been so fucking many. <laughs> 
No, I didn't. I didn't watch anything on the McCune drama. I've already watched all of it. I'm all caught up. I was just talking about it briefly, is all. One quick text message. What are the noises in the background? Yeah, it's Tiana playing more Kingdom Hearts. No. That's sweet though, Casey. Thanks to resub that boy. Is she still watching One Piece? Oh yeah, she's all caught up on One Piece. I haven't watched One Piece in like three months now. I've been so fucking bored with Skypea. So it's really just me. That's not caught up. Well, let me see if I can find something real quick. Put it on screen. I'm going full cam. Let me see if this is it. No. I know one piece gets good. I'm just not at that point where it gets good. Dude's got five stars right now. I'm excited for the chase. He just assaulted a police officer. God damn. He's going all in. He's letting it all hang out. Why can't I find this? What is your ideal ending to a chase? He ramps it off of a parked tow truck and then like Dukes of Hazard style, it does like a slow barrel roll, lands perfectly, and then he just gets out of the car and surrenders. He's like, I, my job here is done. And then the officers come over, they shake his hand, they talk it out, and it was a very petty crime. And they're like, you know what, that shit was so Insano style, we're letting you off with a warning. Things a tier one, please. Did you ever make a moist meter on Jujutsu Kaisen Zero movie? I did not actually. I watched it. And this never made a moist meter on it. Doing alright, Snurt. Hope you're doing well. Thanks to Risa Beaker. How can I find this thing? Just give me two seconds. Let me search again. I want to show something on stream, but I can't find it. I know I have it somewhere, I just don't remember where. Thanks to tier one, Schmidi.
Just give me two more seconds here. I'm sure I'll find it soon. Or maybe not. Maybe I won't find it at all. Nope. Exit tier 1B7 in the resub crazy man. Yeah, of course I played the Demon's Souls remake on stream. Thanks, resub thick. Man, is the chase still going? This one's going well over the norm. Usually they're only like 30 minutes. Thanks, Resub Daymare. What did you want to show us? Uh, when we were talking about God Slap, I, I, don't, I don't think I've mentioned it on stream before. I know I mentioned it somewhere. But I'm also working on another comic called Plague Seeker, which will be out sometime later this year. I've been really in, like, the comic mood, so this is one that I've been working on for a minute. I wanted to show the cover, because the cover goes so fucking hard. But all I have is the older cover on my computer. I don't know where the new one went. Things a bit Sylvie and Sock. But you don't read comics? I do now. I've actually been reading quite a bit over the last, like, six months to get more familiar with it. Mainly manga, though. Not so much, like, traditional comics. Yeah, all I have is the older one. Finally reading Berserk. Yeah, well, well, that's not even new. Yeah. I've been on that Berserk hype train. He's been spiked. Oh, that's big. You said you stopped after Deluxe Volume 1. Oh, that was a while ago. Was that, when was the last time I talked about it? Things are resub chubby. Is it over now? Sub hail. <laughs> Thanks to bit Sylvie and Jay. Well, I don't know. It's just usually whatever we're cooking up, not like a like a repository of other ideas and stuff. I think it's the resub color. It isn't over yet. He's still running. No. Uh -oh. God damn. I really want to tune in, but I want to make sure like I can finish it without it being a terms of service problem. It sounds like it was a pretty hype chase. Nah, it's been slow. Oh, chat made it sound much cooler.
Thanks to give some moisture. Have you seen the guy that drove a car that was last time registered 10 years ago and he tries to talk to the cops not to tow him? No, it doesn't even sound exciting though. That sounds underwhelming. Okay, I I'm just gonna I'm just gonna catch up here. With those fences, but maybe before that. Here, let me let me see the spike. You just don't know who's so chat said it's very around. slow. Obviously, it's. it's <clears throat> Is, it's almost, you definitely, yeah, you, you get that cat and mouse sense mentality. He got off of Rosecrans onto Willowbrook, then turned yeah, around. Yeah, he's not exactly he's drifting around anywhere. U -turn, so we've now three, seen three successive U-turns. Here comes a possible pit maneuver. He is certainly doing right about the ideal speed for a pit maneuver. Now, of course, he's going to Yeah, like the speed bit, limit. That was a great opportunity there. And you can see there's not a lot of other collateral uh, in the way here. So a perfect area to execute a Thanks pit a if they have the opportunity. The prime bug. Fishtail the vehicle out of control. But there he is. He's coming out the other end there. Uh, now pulling back on to... This is by my house. Alameda, I can hear so the helicopter. Going, we'll get out and do something. Uh, what yeah, the fuck? Back on Alameda, and it doesn't look like they made contact. Are you serious? Him. You thought for a second that they were going to pull up right behind him. Protect and your community. That pit, but it does not look like uh, they made contact with the rear. Bro, this is the slowest chase. Yeah, it's not. It's not very fast. Boxed in here. Look at this. Over the double yellow lines, through another red light here, going around all that traffic. No cross traffic. They're going to make it with. This is right such a common now. occurrence in LA now. Boulevard, uh, where there was this a crazy. stale red, but no traffic, fortunately. And there's the night sun. That is LA County Thanks Sheriff's Brian. night sun e shining a light on him again, er, giving e him the, all e the awareness he needs to know that they, he has eyes on him from hey, Edgar. every angle imaginable. Look at this. Railroad tracks. Do they go through the railroad tracks with them? One, two. Potentially a third. Look at Why them all going I? through the railroad crossing as the gates are about to drop. Oh! Almost had, I mean, this has a uh, this has a video game feel to it, Mark. And some of these drivers. Yeah, the slowest games, game ever. What do you mean? If they are in the middle of a video game, and certainly uh, some of the stuff we're seeing here tonight, prime crispy. Uh, gives you that feel. But anyways, they all made it through the railroad crossing with him as the gates were about to come down. Now he's on one of these side streets. We'll see. If he decides to dump the vehicle, again, this was a stolen vehicle, and when it's a stolen vehicle, you never know how much gas is in the tank. It could be a full tank, it could be a quarter tank or less, true. and then he starts running true, true, out, true. and then he has to look for a spot to just run for it. He oh, just, right know, over the speed bump. He's not going to come out with his hands up, but we could be wrong, and hopefully he does. In any event, these side streets provide lots of hiding opportunities if he doesn't. And so they will have plenty of units in the area with the assistance of L.A. County Sheriff to form a perimeter if he starts to hide out. But now he's on an Thanks alleyway. Resub, Pete. Again, all CHP here that we're looking at. But, again, you have to imagine that uh, the Sheriff's Department is uh, working to get their way into the area because they are going to need some help here in the event they have to you know, form a the prime area bumper. or a perimeter. Crazy that this is a sport in the city. Yeah, isn't that wild? Okay, let's let's skip along Hand here. Hand off to the local CHP closer to recap that. Wait. It it really is kind of a Maybe what, even that slower chase. On just another head-on situation there. He goes around, swerves around him, but again, tech. notice the slow speed here. He is conserving fuel and maybe on borrowed time in terms of the gas tank. We'll see here, but for some reason, the driving has slowed down. Uh, dramatically. It's almost like a police escort at this yep. point. Nope. Yep, yep. Would have been a good place, but uh, you, uh, you, uh, once again, the oh, sweet. likelihood Thanks, of a pit maneuver just went up again because at these speeds, this is the perfect situation. Most of these streets are 
pretty desolate, as you can see at this time of the night. Not a whole lot of traffic, lots of commercial warehouses, no collateral damage, slow crawl by, and that'll... Okay, that's an access road. This will pay, take... You, I am surprised they're not pit maneuvering his ass one here. Of those, eggs, uh, those kind of like uh, access roads that could take you off of Rosecrans onto, in this case, Spring Street. He made a just a few days ago. You can't forget that pursuit on Friday, where there was a getaway vehicle ready under an overpass mm -hmm. to take the that was suspect cool. away, and the pursuit continued. So even if the vehicle's on borrowed time, if he's determined and has a network in this neighborhood. Uh, he may have any different tracks. Since he's been off the tire, looks a little wobbly with neighborhoods, but I, it still looks like the vehicle's, you know, driving okay, I guess, okay. It's Actually, just very slow. That front tire looks a little wobbly. What do you think, Rob? Can we push in there? It does look like that front tire is... I can't see shit. There's market. a tree there. In my imagination, it, it appears a little bit wobbly, but it, again, it could be an optical illusion. It looks pretty normal to me, Chuck. Uh, well, it's definitely not flat. That was a good shot there. Nice close-up as he makes this illegal U-turn at Santa Fe You skipped Fe the Avenue. spike? I don't uh, think so. The going, spike happened not uh, too long ago. again on Rosecrans. Uh, you can count the units there, upwards of a half a dozen, as he slowly reverses course on Rosecrans and just barely making that right turn now onto McDivitt Avenue. Another residential You did street. skip it? Where was it? This. He may be... There's little tubes. Bike. And that... This neighborhood. Uh, he may have the... Hey, I don't want to watch this chase. To, uh, Come on. Some. I know. This guy's... Yeah, this guy's really... I've he's going through it, so, it right now. So well. He just... Switched vehicles. Come on, Come on uh, pulled Come on a watch. switcheroo under the overpass. Uh, but in any event... Come on. Uh, uh, there's the spike. There's the spike. Oh, I missed it. There's the spike. And Where? that looks like it was even. Not, uh, there's the spike. There's the spike. There's the spike. That and looks like it was not even close. So, so well. He just jumped, switched vehicles, uh, pulled a switcheroo under the overpass. Uh, but in any event, not, uh, oh, that was pretty spike. close. There's yeah, the nice. There's the spike. And that looks like it was a successful spike strip. That was a really clever spike. That was a pretty lengthy spike strip. Uh, I didn't even see it right away, and I don't think he saw it either. Ran right over it. And He's we'll live see on how kick. The vehicle starts to behave. If it behaves any differently, no, that sounds like right a joke. Now, if it was a good spike, definitely not flat. You could catch a little speed over that speed bump, but it does not look like those tires are running flat. The hazards, yeah, that's his hazard lights. They have been on for a chunk of time. I, I'm that's not nice. Sure they were on at the very beginning, but uh, they've been playing for hyphen, a little while. The prime those, Onigen, Reese, uh, Rebecca. those rear view mirrors, which we've mentioned, they have been uh, uh, hanging off by ever since that. I think ever since he made contact with those fences. It's real. Maybe even right, before I'll that. Check. Um, so he has I doubt two it, rear view mirrors, just the one in his in his. Yeah, you know, inside the vehicle. What would that category be? But yeah, the hazards are on. The lights have just climbing. Time. Just difficult to see. We were able to get a glimpse Fucking of the passenger seat, right. which is empty. So that we don't that, know for sure. You want me to fling it? Seats are actually turned. Uh, oh we'll God! Here, but in any event, he's now no. Back onto this guy is not the guy in the chase. Uh, that's a northbound turn. Is this the guy bay. on the road? Uh, let's count once again, Mark or uh, uh, Rob. I just want to see. He's got three, four. The cops did just blow by though. And by the way, I think some of these units may have actually been... No, there is a guy live original, on yeah, Kick saying the, uh, IRL car chase, but he's not the actual suspect. He's just a guy in L.A. Pursuit, which, uh, listening to the police chase. Par for the course here once you switch into uh, the CHP South L.A. division. Both? may be deflating. He's now at Compton Boulevard. There's the resub gene. And there's the a better beam. shot. Look at that. Yeah, they're both. Actually, both? So the right tires hit the spike. It looks like maybe the left tires were spared. But those, both of those right tires, the front and the rear, are now 
basically down to the rim. The yeah, this chase no kind of sucks. There's no air left, and he is riding on those rims. That's where that smoke is coming from. That is going to dramatically affect the steering of this car. It's only a... Is there some Sakushi exactly in the prime blues? Maybe a slightly older <laughs> model. Can't say for sure, but this vehicle, I think we can say now, is on borrowed time. I mean, it's still going, so she's she's really got some some steam to her. Yeah, it looks like the back seat's empty, but there's something. Is, is that his hand? I'm trying to make out what is sticking. Is that? A, I think that might be a cell phone. Actually, it might be a, a shot of his cell phone through that front uh, window, which is rolled down. Uh, I thought he was. Sticking it out the window for a second, but you can see the display from my He phone. actually is on his phone. It's not the I, I have the kick stream up. It's not the guy streaming on kick. But this guy is on something. I don't know what it is. Must maybe he's just on the phone, but it looks like there's some blue down here, so it looks like it's some yeah, kind that, of app. I think that might be a cell phone actually. It might be a, a shot of his cell phone through that front uh window, which is Oh really yeah, maybe he's uh, on I Facebook he Live right now. It out the window for a second, but you can see the display from I think a cell phone. Uh, so he's driving with his right hand. Looks like he's got a cell phone in his left hand. And, uh, you know, worth reiterating, the speeds still not really breaching 35 or 40 mi miles per hour. So it's turned into a bona fide joyride at this rate. But it's not going to end not going to end well for him. Uh, and he's not going to make it easy. You just don't get that impression. But, again, hopefully he does. Hopefully, he, Hopefully he's using this time to think about things a little bit more clearly. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but, I'm sure that's what he's using this time for. Man, what was I doing? Why did I do this to myself? We'll see what happens. Can't believe I've event, done this. Those right tires are now done. And the speeds have been affected as he's now making his way down Long Beach Boulevard. Northbound Long Beach Boulevard at about 30 miles per hour. Coming up on Cedar Avenue here in Compton. And again, he's a fresh... Been Pursuit package now in tow. These I guess that's a good point. CHP's We're just going to sit here and slowly watch him run out of gas. Awesome. <laughs> cool chase. Why even bother? Just hit this. If, just pull over. Just be like, hey guys, I didn't see you there. I didn't know I couldn't do that. I think it's a prime blur. Maybe he's banking on, like, staying up super late driving around and everyone falls asleep in the police department, so the helicopter pilot's like, alright guys, I gotta go home. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to snooze. Same with the cops, and he's like, alright, I win. Just a war of attrition. And the longer this goes on, I, I think there's no choice but to wonder why. Why haven't they done it sooner? Now, again, we're armchair quarterbacks. These guys are working with intelligence about the suspect, about the other crimes that may be involved here. A lot of information that we don't have. So, again, take all this with a grain of salt. But why are they letting this go so long when I have seen many opportunities for a very safe pit maneuver that would have brought this most likely to an end. Now, maybe it could be that after his maneuver earlier... Jesus Christ. What is the point? More carefully about that because they know that At least do like some donuts or something on the way out. out. Holy fuck. There's like a 180 and he's then face to face Jesus. with those officers. He has no problem if the vehicle would set up at least... And this is still time going time right now? How? Sure. Just go home. <laughs> Just go home. Maybe he is. This re it looks like it's finally over. Yep, those yeah, the front This is right so embarrassing. Oh my god. Uh, we have seen some sparks flying. I think that's actually coming from 
uh, the bumper, but we have seen some smoke coming from, I think, the remainder of the rubber. Uh, in any event, he is now uh, zigzagging his way once again. Zigzagging? Are we watching the same thing? Residential neighborhood, and I He's hesitate to call slowly pitter-pattering down the street. He may very well uh, be more familiar with these... He's right, running on so two tiddly not, winks of uh, tires. Really, in any position to outrun these officers, uh, not at these speeds, and certainly not in the condition of the vehicle. Uh, he knows that he's on borrowed time. He knows better than we do. Yeah, it's it is literally giving out right now. And, and you know, uh, while uh, as crazy as this pursuit has been at times, and as it can't even fully make this. Oh God. Uh, this Got a little second wind. More than a joyride for the last however many minutes. I mean, this has really been just a casual cat and mouse game with these officers. Cat and mouse game? It hasn't even been that. No distance between They're just him watching him slowly bleed out gas. More sparks coming off there. That front right rim is probably going to be the first one to go here. That is really... Hey, the prime gamer. It's a front-wheel drive car, and I, I don't guess think... Sylvie. It looks like that rib is already starting to come apart. Oh, jinkies. Holy fuck. If somebody just threw a banana peel down here, Mario Kart style, it might be enough at this point. Mm. Yep. Hey man, at least he's being safe. Yeah, just but just but just pull over at this point. This car is it's like going jogging speed. Like, just, why even bother? Fifty CC. <laughs> it's a fifty CC yeah, chase. I, I mean, I, while we're while we're on the topic, something very similar happened to me many years ago. Seeing my own car pull out of my driveway. On oh, my I thought you were gonna say his chase. My car drive in the opposite direction, only to be found days later in uh, pretty similar condition. Unfortunately. Oh, that sucks, it was damn. Except Monte Carlo, but we won't talk about that. <laughs> I'm getting so much lore on the caster. I see why he's so attached to these police chases now. He's like Batman. The thing he feared most was his car being stolen, so he became a car chase commentator. That's yeah, LA living. At somebody. I mean, yeah, I guess so. Seth Rogen loves it, though. He is certainly. Remember he made that whole uh, tweet about his car being broken into 15 times and how he's always excited enemy. when it happens or whatever? Uh, not what I would expect. I kind what of a saint. Based on the driving and the circumstance here, you felt like he was just kind of taking it easy, but he looks angry. He, he looked very animated there for a minute, and uh, that is not a good sign, I have to say. I mean, that, you know, I was hoping, really hoping, that with the, the turn of events and the condition of the vehicle that he would have some time to calm down, but he is still very energetic and was uh, clearly yelling at somebody there. Not sure uh, what that was all about. In any event, continuing now, northbound Long Beach Boulevard. Normally, uh, a much busier... Oh, my God. <laughs> How is he still going? Tuesday night. What the traffic, fuck? A lot of pedestrians out. You still see uh, the helicopter circling this pursuit. You see some of the neighboring jurisdictions here. The it's like the world's saddest Macy's kind of Thanksgiving Day parade. In some cases, like all the cars are just stopped and they're all just like waiting for him to slowly fucking dinkly drive by. Uh, fucking wave on the way. Driving pretty steady here Christ. The fact that those just right stop. <laughs> God uh, damn. He's managing to maintain about 25 miles per hour now uh, on Long Beach Boulevard. So it has not slowed him down entirely. At least not yet, but if he stays here, maybe they'll have the opportunity. Yeah, it looks like even he's asleep. Uh, and uh, I was about to say, if he stays on this track, certainly a possibility they may be able to set up for another spike strip at least on the, uh, on the driver's side. Uh, 
Ugh. I think one speed bump will be the end of this story. Can we maybe try and, like, funnel him do towards, like, a speed bump? Because there's no way this fucking thing makes it over it like the little engine that could. That's- that's in-game. Now let's just set up, like, a little blockade. Push him down one of these yeah. side streets that likely has yeah, a speed fact, bump I, and I, call I it a day. Every, almost every time that we've even been able to peek through that driver's side window, uh, he's had that phone on, whether he's texting somebody calling somebody or like you said maybe streaming abc7 at this point who knows uh but that's <laughs> most true. likely uh, what those watch commanders are doing i really like this commentator uh, back at the chp station probably he probably is watching, watching the stream picture right now as he continues to maneuver through south la here in compton uh this time he's make made that turn onto uh mlk boulevard and you see now chp he can't even get up to 35 miles per hour. That's just a mockery at this point. Oh, if it stops on the stop, though, that'd be so good. And slowing down even more. It's a, it's a, it's a, a stop sign, but he's barely going to make it through this intersection. I think the vehicle is starting to give him problems. We've said that before, and he's, you know, gassed it. You know, Thanks to give sub Jello. You know, continue the pursuit, but uh, I think he is. He's really, yeah, at that really point, Sylvia, I'm just going to back up just a little officers, bit to be safe. They are ready to bring this oh, here we go. There could be a speed bump here. There could be a speed bump, which may as well be a landmine at this point. Because that car will be fucked on it. To run on foot. Um, but uh, we'll see what kind of stamina he's got left here. He is uh, certainly, uh, that last time that we saw him, was pretty animated behind the wheel of the car. Look at this cross traffic here at the stop sign, continuing through that. No, no speed bumps front. yet. D do Turn speed bumps exist in LA? Sirens coming through here, and now he comes back out. God on the damn it! Oh. Uh. Street back onto Long Beach Boulevard. This time, though, making a right turn onto the southbound side of Long Beach Boulevard, and once again, able to keep that wheel steady and pretty much driving in a straight 24 line miles per hour miles huh per hour uh, despite the fact that he is missing two right mm -hmm. tires basically down to the rims the left tires appear to be in good shape <laughs> and he's now going through a major red here it is, is Long Beach, <laughs> this is the 20th fucking intersection where all the cars are just stopped knowing it's coming and just waiting he's been hesitant like come on bozo can you fucking hurry this up which would put him in the linwood can you just drive by now? But in any event, uh, he's heading in that direction now. So he's made plenty of U-turns, and if history is any indicator, he will probably make another U-turn soon here as he ventures. He can't make a U-turn. He the won't. The car can't do it. Most comfortable, and he started this pursuit over an hour ago in this general vicinity. He has ended up here. Hard to imagine that he's going to get too far away from here. But uh, with the pressure behind him. He may, anything's possible, right? So, we'll see as he continues. Oh my north. god! Why? Uh, Why are you even bothering? Look at this! Look at this! Still Look at what? Able to accelerate at a decent clip He's accelerating? I can't freeway, even tell! Bypassing the entrance ramp there, had an opportunity to get on the freeway, and now he's going uh, uh, a tick faster. What do we say? About 40 miles per hour? Right around 40, 45 miles per hour. As he accelerates underneath the 105 freeway into Linwood, uh, or am I am I right about that? Is he? In, are we still? This is gonna be a fucking three-hour chase. This car is running off of dreams. I guess we're, we're now actually we're in combat. It's transcended in gas. Southbound Long Beach Boulevard. Uh, oh my God! It's fucking cruising. Where did this come from? Maybe more than a little bit of distance between himself and that primary did he run over like a like a right like a gas pump or something really that gave him some juice far back is that lead unit we've got one unit about eight car lengths back speeding okay he, he i think he's fucked now turn no u-turn just no, a maybe not. turn now onto carlin avenue back into a residential neighborhood more sparks flying from that front right rim and how many other of those units were able to make that turn are they all still behind him my guess is yes. One, two, three, four. Four units. Four CHP units. Thanks to the resub. Still the lead Skosh. agency in this pursuit. Uh, despite everything we've seen here this evening. And it makes perfect sense when you consider the fact that he has literally rammed into police vehicles.
during the course of this pursuit. Uh, now making a right turn onto Bullis Road off of Carlin. Uh, you see the sheriff's helicopter still up in the air. This is the worst this police chase ever. They circle these intersections doing really tight orbits. The police chase where they tracked or just stopped the drunk stop Amish buggy was more high octane uh, yeah, than this. Narrower streets, less likely that we'll see a pit maneuver here. But California. I doubt. Why would they pit maneuver here around like? Other cars and shit. They would have done it in the vacant back alley. They're not going to pit maneuver him. Light traffic overall, but certainly the danger exists nonetheless. I mean, especially if he's still able to accelerate through some of these intersections, uh, anything is possible. And we certainly uh, don't even want to use our imaginations because we have certainly seen uh, what some of these people are capable of. And uh, you just hope that this ends in a peaceful fashion. Or at least a peaceful resolution. You just hope it ends in general. Uh, so this car may never stop. Road, of it's like the train from Snowpiercer. Down a bit after we saw more sparks flying out of the right side. Just of the pit road. maneuver him here. There's nothing. There's nothing. <laughs> There's fucking nothing. God damn it. Oh, that was the slowest turn of all time. Just put him out of his own misery here. This car, like this, the, the car has gone through enough at this point. Please, what is this thing? A, a Kia? Have mercy on it. Thanks the bits, turtle in the prime ocelot. I have no yeah, idea, the, turtle. Uh, the calculations that he's making here, and certainly some of the behavior that we're seeing, makes you wonder. Uh, at least possible and worth raising the question if he's under the influence. We know the original The answer is yes. GTA, Grand Theft Auto. Uh, but, you know, there's nothing saying that could, can't be, uh, you know, might be other things at play here. And if he is under the influence, that will certainly uh, play into how this all ends up. But he is doing a circle around this neighborhood now on McMillan Street at Bradfield. Coming back up to Bullis, North Bullis Road. If he makes a right turn, that'll be the direction he came in here. Uh, but he's basically circling these neighborhoods. Oh, did he hit a speed bump? I wasn't looking. It made it? Uh, but he, he made it over a speed uh, bump? Speeding over a number of speed bumps, which are a real challenge for those. Oh, fuck. I, I those, zoned uh, out. I wasn't looking. Right wheels, especially considering uh, that even those rims are on, on really borrowed. I mean, at some point, if he accelerates too much, he will eat right through those rims, and eventually you've got nothing left but axle. We're not there yet. You can still see the rims uh, <laughs> spinning there, but Thanks, at some point... Knuckle. In the rain, beauty. Thank you for that. And congrats. Good shit. Thanks the bits, realist. Yeah, especially for a Kia, right? I mean, it's a small, compact vehicle. I mean, these are not oh my uh, God, just trucks. And, what and is the point? <laughs> Why is he that still going? Numerous times, and they can go all night long. We had one uh, maybe just about six months ago that went for like eight hours down the freeway, even at a snail's pace. Eight hours? Tire on the 18-wheeler uh, was flattened by spike strips. Uh, the thing just kept on going. This is not that. This what? is a, a small, compact vehicle. Uh, that is uh, not designed to endure this type of uh, this type of um, of damage. So he's kind of just weaving his way through here. Uh, Bradfield, we were here just a moment ago, now turning off at K. He's on Bradfield, and now his next major here is Rosecrans. He'll turn westbound onto Rosecrans. <laughs> this guy, this guy's he's leaning out, clapping. <laughs> I wasn't in a fucking fire angle there. This has actually turned into a sport in LA. And taking pictures and video while they're at it here. Man, maybe this really will go eight hours. I kind of want to go fill up my water, but I don't want to miss anything. If there's anything to miss, there. You know what? I'm actually, I, I'm actually going to do that here. I'll uh, 
I give you like a like a, a minute buffer here. <laughs> I'll be right back. I'm fucking thirsty. I don't think I'm gonna miss anything. He will eat right through those you can watch this guy clap for him again. Axel. We're not there yet. You can still see the rims uh, spinning there, but at some point, they will start to come apart. Yeah, especially for a Kia, right? I mean, it's a small, compact vehicle. I mean, these are not uh, heavy-duty trucks. And, and we've seen semis that have been spiked numerous times, and they can go all night long. We had one uh, maybe just about six months ago that went for like eight hours down the freeway, even at a snail's pace, after every tire on the 18-wheeler uh, was flattened by spike strips. Uh, the thing just kept on going. This is not that. This is a, a small, compact vehicle uh, that is uh, not designed to endure this type of uh, this type of um, of damage. So he's kind of just weaving his way through here, uh, Bradfield. We were here just a moment ago. Now turning off at K. He's on Bradfield, and now his next major here is Rosecrans. He'll turn westbound onto Rosecrans. And I imagine, look at that, somebody is aware of it and sticking their cell phone out the window. So you already are starting to see some of the spectators out here familiar with this pursuit, aware of this pursuit, and taking pictures and video while they're at it here. And I think it's fair to say at this point, we could say pretty confidently that this is now a tactic that they are using here. This They have made a determined decision to let this continue because now over the course of the last hour, we can say with confidence, there have been many opportunities to end this in other ways. They have made the calculation that that's not what they want to do, not the safest uh, course of business. So in this case, they have used one spike strip. Uh, maybe they try for another, but other than that, they are just going to continue to follow him at these speeds unless something dramatically changes. Uh, they will follow him to the very end. Again, they can swap out units all night long until that tank is empty. Might be a very I'm back. Uh, call during the day too, but at night, and this has been the pattern all night. Thanks, on Risa, on Mitch, Tommy, and the Prime tonight. Joe and Pizza. Night, not a whole lot of people out, just occasionally a few cars at the lights, but that's about it. And so, why not, right? If they feel that it's endurance safe to do build, this, this is safer than the alternative. Yeah, endurance that's build. Do. And uh, I was actually, yeah, he's probably just as surprised as we are that the car's still rolling. But yeah. He's uh, enjoying every minute of it. Thank you, Brian uh, Hardy. If he is under the influence, that has been, in, which has been the case many, many times, uh, where they enjoy their last uh, smokes and their last uh, beer in the driver's seat uh, before going to jail. In any case, we don't know that that's the case here. No indication. Uh, I'm just going to tell you it's uh, probably the case. Our information that he's under the influence, but certainly the behavior has been very erratic and a little bit aggressive at times. Uh, nice, which Sylvie. Is, 
a little bit surprising to me. But again, he's got his now left hand on the wheel and his right hand, I'm, I can't tell if he still has the phone or if it's something. It, uh, and he's like shaking bottle? something. It looks like a bottle. Yep. Is it? There you go. Oh, it is. Well, nice. Just as we were saying, very well may be enjoying his last beer. You never know. <laughs> it seems like that might be the case. Oh, no, wait, he's doing whippets. He 100% just did a fucking whippet, didn't he? That is, hey, my man, that is not a beer. This guy is doing whippets. What the fuck? <laughs> that absolutely explains it. That's why he's shaking it. Yep, wow. What a absolute degenerate. Holy shit. Even more so than I already knew him to be. Uh, definitely a little bit more weaving than he was. I was pretty uh, pretty surprised he was able to keep it as straight as he was, but it now looks like that vehicle is behaving a little bit differently. Uh, still, those right rims, by the way, the rubber's completely gone, so the tires have flown off. I haven't heard them say that yet, Sylvia, but I met have missed it. pure Things rim it's Rebecca on and Ron. asphalt. And, uh, oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Ron. That's awful. Still carrying the vehicle, but I think you're right. I think it's starting to affect Thanks to the resub rain. Uh, in any event, made a turn now back onto Carlin Avenue, uh, again, worth noting that these are all streets. In fact, every turn he's made in the last few minutes has been uh, repeat adventures. Uh, he has been on all of these streets multiple times, essentially doing. They a are repeat adventures. What may or may not be his neighborhood. He has uh, certainly made the decision to stay around here, and you know, again, always worth repeating. This is where it all started, at least. In this part of town, so hey, no worries uh, at all, Ron. You can draw your own conclusions. It may very well turn out to be his neighborhood. The AI stuck in a loop. Yeah, and he definitely does have the infinite gas cheat on too. That's an awful combination. This might just be an eight-hour chase. It really might. Good lord. Why don't they do something other than chase him? I thought they would have pit maneuvered him in some of the desolate areas they visited, but I guess not. They might just have different laws out there for how to handle these, because we've never actually seen them You're act. You're absolutely right. The endurance level, the adrenaline spikes, they are very real, and they come into play so much so that these officers train, are trained on how to deal with those um, those roller coasters of emotions that are going through. There's a lot of multitasking going on and then there's a lot of emotions uh, during these pursuits and in this case we know that that lead a that lead unit has been replaced at least once maybe twice uh, it wouldn't surprise me if it was even more than that even when we weren't watching or didn't catch oh it. my god out. That's a just pull into one of these driveways man take your last whip it and just <laughs> just let it be over it's fucking awful position for too long for that very reason it's something that they have done studies on they have trained on and uh, they're aware of that that is something that can complicate Whoa. the actual arrest and it can complicate the actual safety of the driving behind that the looked close. of these pursuing officers because they are human beings just like you and me and they have their own what do you just throw out the window these are stressful episodes i mean you know we are as a culture here in Los Angeles, fairly obsessed with these. They are what is he pointing at? To watch on TV, but they are oh, he's pointing at us! <laughs> hey, hey you fucking weirdo! Hey! We them is for public safety first and foremost because there is so much danger involved. And one of the many dangers is that in many cases, not only uh, private citizens who get hurt, but law enforcement officers who get hurt as well. Because the driving, you have to now mirror in some cases... This, Who's he talking to, though? Maniacs driving behind the wheel of the pursuit vehicle, and then you have to try and keep up with them, or try and outsmart him, or whatever the case may be. And again, 
that is a, a mental exercise. It's a real workout uh, for those, all of the uh, officers involved, but like you said, especially those lead units right behind the suspect. Oh my. <laughs> the dude on the bike could probably just catch up to him, honestly. Like, talk him down, like, hey, just stop. Like, just, I mean, just fucking stop. Thanks to the resub trooper and fresh. Yeah, I'm surprised they don't just hit him with another spike strip. Like, they have a million. Oh, it's finally. No. It's, uh, I can't tell. Is this live? Yeah. Oh no, he just stopped to, uh, <laughs> to get some more whippets in. Look at this. Oh, they're this so, they're so excited. Of, right, because this has now been going on long enough that, as you mentioned, neighbors are well aware of the commotion. They, they are well aware of what's going on with technology. They've already received the breaking news notifications. They've got Citizen on their phone. They're aware of this. And now you start to see some people coming out to either take part in it, to catch a glimpse of it. To he's get a, glimpse yeah, of it. he's a little local video, celebrity now. Uh, or social media post. Uh, certainly ill-advised, but in this case, it's almost inevitable uh, the longer the pursuit goes on. I'm almost surprised we haven't if seen If he keeps driving, that. he can't go to jail. Uh, That's the plan. Earlier in the day, maybe we would, but in any case, we have not seen that much, but we certainly hate to see a pedestrian jump into, you know, into position anywhere near this pursuit because you just never know. Even at these slow speeds, you just never know how it's going to end, and God forbid it ends right at that moment. Violet. You then pose a and real problem fire. Uh, for law enforcement because they have to look out for crossfire situations. They have to reevaluate their use of force in a position where they might need to use force, use whatever the case may be. It's just uh, a much cleaner situation when the streets are clear, the sidewalks are clear. And that would be big brain. That indoors. would be big, big brain, and Sylvie. Certainly, uh, I hope it stays that way. It's a pretty calm night. Like I said, not a whole lot of traffic to begin with out here. Very few pedestrians, but certainly folks are uh, well aware of what is playing out in their neighborhood. Where, you know, even 10 years ago, might not have been the case. It might have taken a little longer for word to spread. You know, people say turn on the TV, and then by the time you make it to the TV, you know, whatever. But right now, everybody is well aware of what's going on here. Yep. Right you are, Chris. Oh, God. Why is he still go? How how long has this been? This has been like a little over an hour. Yeah, a little over an hour. <clears throat> Whoa, Jesus! Look at this. Uh, I mean, what was that plan? Unnecessary. Ab what the fuck? The vehicle, almost as if she wanted to give him a high five. Okay, this is nothing compared to some of the things that we've seen in the past, but that's the type of behavior that could certainly get somebody hurt. It's really, really Yeah, what an idiot. This guy's literally doing whippets behind the wheel. I'm surprised he hasn't crashed. Clear example of what we were just talking about. What an about. absolute uh, goddamn no imbecile. Maybe they know him, and maybe they know that he's not a threat to them. But that's not the point, right? Because there is there are so many other factors here. Um, it's just not worth it. it, it the, the danger is all too real and now we're seeing more and more people pulled over the whole these neighborhood has come out to film these this are professional photographers these are these are, these are, blast these these are neighbors who are the coming prime out shouty. to partake in the commotion out here tonight and you see a lot more people now with their phones out it's the it is the entire neighborhood yeah Yep. 
How has he still got gas? <laughs> I, I just don't even get it. Things they resubmit. I also just can't believe they haven't bothered to just spike the tires again. He's going 15. And he's doing circles. Yeah, Things unfortunately you're right. Uh, the driving now continuing at a snail's pace back on Santa Fe Avenue. Uh, again, another major thoroughfare that we have been on plenty this evening. The lights turning green for them. And they are continuing to roll right through these intersections at no more than 25 miles per hour. Uh, it's been a while since uh, we've seen him deviate. He's been pretty much uh, on this uh, the same pattern uh, for a while, and, and so I'm starting to wonder why we even haven't why we haven't even seen another uh, spike strip. That's what I just said. Yeah, those, those left tires. It's easy for me to say, but uh, I would imagine that that's something they wish they could do um, to further disable the vehicle. But uh, so far, just those right tires that have been uh, incapacitated. Now he's on two right rims, and then two left tires that appear to be intact but at these speeds he's been able to maintain can't someone just pull up next to him and slash the tires uh, probably what do you think they are just police uh, officer samurais uh, slash his tires with what yeah. their katana on the way by no man i mean if you want to make it like an action movie they could drive by and shoot the tires but even that's not gonna be effective circles around they'll probably miss it's not like an easy shot to hit and it just puts all of these spectators in danger it's definitely, you know, on TikTok, you can go viral really quick. So it looks like he's uh, continuing through, kind of almost enjoying the attention. And uh, we saw just a few minutes ago, it looked like he was uh, sipping on something. He's not. What it was. <laughs> it's, he wasn't sipping on what you think he was. Whatever it was, I think he polished it off because it was basically the end of the last few drops you saw. And then I think now I almost, I almost saw another. Uh, Thanks well, to the bits next. A reflection. I thought I saw the cell phone, but actually his window is back up, right? His window is back up. That's all reflection at this point. So, yeah, we haven't had a clear glimpse of him in a few minutes, but uh, it seems as though uh, he is just enjoying these last few minutes of freedom, or maybe another hour. Who knows? <laughs> Gee, I hope it's not another hour, man. I, like, like here's just a really good opportunity. You just, you, you can just pit him here. There's, we've seen one car in the last like th four minutes. Just, just please, the Kia will say thank you. This car is begging to just be stopped. <laughs> like, just, just a little tiny bump, like just a, a, a little love tap. Or, or at any point. Do we see them change the tactic, if at all? That's exactly. I mean, we've discussed why. Is the narrator just, in the stream? That is know, what I'm saying. I just said that. To the end. But uh, the slower he gets, I mean, as he makes his way into, you know, different areas. I mean, here's a, another wide open area. Still has some residences here. But do they pull up next to him? Do they try and communicate with him? Do they try and maybe talk some sense? Or is somebody trying to reach him? Is he calling a family member? Uh, I, you know, these are all the things that, that go through my head. Uh, or are they just riding blind behind him, uh, completely unaware of what his next move is? Now, nobody can read his mind, but, you know, again, they are usually working with more information than we are. So we're just spectators, I would imagine. Yeah, I mean, we're just spectators. I would imagine they've made some effort to, to find out more about the suspect and more about the crime here, but... If it was a fresh stolen, and, uh, and the resub and, juice, you know, they just caught up with the low jack, then that might be all they are aware of. Yeah, the same, same here. Yeah, I, I, I think that's a conscious. It has to be a conscious decision. Uh, you know, it was, it was definitely. Intriguing at first, but it's clearly a tactic at this point to not employ the pit. Uh, they made the conscious decision to try the spike. Uh, they haven't tried it again, at least as far as we're aware. Uh, they must be confident that the vehicle's on borrowed time, which makes sense, and that the gas tank only has a finite amount of fuel, 
and uh, <sighs> oh, but infinite possibilities. Anticlimactic at the end, I'm afraid. Right? I, yeah, yeah, exactly. Thanks to the resub mill and the bits moon. That's what they're hoping, yep. Those are the only officer on, officers on the road. They're not even bothering yeah, to stop traffic South anymore. Mona Boulevard, uh, continuing towards 130th at a snail's oh, pace here, God. but still in the city of Compton. We have not really left that general area. He is in Compton, maybe kind of on the edge of Willowbrook now, but uh, he's not traveled very far, hasn't covered a whole lot of real estate in the last... Uh, hour or so he's basically just circling the same if he hits a pothole that might also be the game ender at least it appears he is a known entity by some of the folks who have come out this evening certainly well no it's just they're, they've all seen the stream approached the vehicle almost so they, they knew he was coming by. by you have to wonder what that was all about and you have to wonder almost uh, i didn't see it i don't think that I've seen any of these units drop out, but I almost, uh, in some cases, would imagine that one of the pursuing officers would stop and talk to that woman to see if they do know who he is. Maybe they, they don't. don't. They, they, the they fucking don't. But, uh, that appeared to be somebody. They just wanted a little uh, TikTok video. Was aware of the pursuit and aware that he was coming through. Uh, and there's probably more of that. We're certainly seeing a lot more folks with their phones out. Uh, as he makes his way around the same general area now on East Exit Prime frozen in the resub solar. Maybe, Sylvie. Oh, oh God. Jesus. Oh, man. There is just nobody here. This is just such a good opportunity. Just give, give him the lightest little bumper bump anything and the car is done. And you've done Kia a great service. So the answer is, this is pitiful. We're not, we're, we're not aware of it. However, it certainly would be one of the things that they are considering that would explain some of the tactics that we've seen. If what tactics? <laughs> the tactic is, now, we'll wait till he runs out of gas. Already it sucks. Willingness to use it fucking sucks. As a weapon, which certainly counts as a deadly weapon. Aside from that, whether he is armed inside the vehicle, whether he's got a gun or a knife or whatever else, uh, we don't know. We have not heard reports to that effect, but that doesn't mean that they are tactical aware of patience. The vehicle because that is also <laughs> something that, in many cases, would preclude them from attempting a pit maneuver. Uh, that that that's one of the things that makes you think twice about getting into a pit maneuver with somebody really? who's heavily armed. Now, it certainly happens, but it's one of the things that goes into the decision-making process, uh, and it's something that we. Have seen here and the clear intent to not pit him again uh again it could just be a coincidence but so far no reports of any weapons <laughs> right oh God. jeepers creepers jiminy christmas yeah, right Why? 20, 25 miles per hour. We'll go ahead and throw up our real-time speed tracker, dipping below 15 miles per hour, so really slowing down now. Back on. Santa Is this Bay still Avenue. a chase? No, it's watching yeah. a wounded animal slowly Trust roll familiar. around. We have been on Santa Fe numerous times over the last 30 minutes, if not more. Uh, and uh, actually, again, all of these streets are looking really familiar. We've moved a little bit further to the east and north, but uh, or west and north. Uh, towards Willowbrook, but still in the same general vicinity as he's kind of meandered around here, uh, almost looking for attention, again, enjoying the ride, 
Uh, he's got the, the window's been up and down at times. It looks like the window might be cracked now. I can't get a clear view inside. I do see the reflection there. Um, but uh, other than that, he is going right through another red light here. So these, look at that. Well, one, two, three. Man, one, so two, many. People so many spectators. Pursuit, phones ready and uh, trying to catch a glimpse. This is going to have so many More angles. Smoke, smoke coming from that rear. That right rear rim. Every oh, wait, he, he just, he up sped up. He sped up a little bit. Now closer to 25 miles per hour. He was embarrassed, I guess. Don't look at me, not in my shame. And a little bit of smoke coming from the rear of the vehicle. Thanks for the resub. New Thank in you, the prime gamer. Southbound Santa Fe coming up on Rosecrans Avenue for the umpteenth time during this pursuit. He will have a decision to make there. I guess he could go through, but I think he's going to set up for a turn here. We'll see what happens, but uh, he is coming up on Rosecrans after this after the stop sign here. Several cars there, and another Maybe major of edge. off of his... Off TikTok of his famous idea. by Morning the Easy. Yeah, maybe that's the play. That's it's all a clout play. There, I believe, yeah. So he's got the red light. Oh, they didn't they didn't stop this side. Traveling at a snail's pace. He kind of peaked at 30 miles per hour there and is now crawling once again back up to this intersection. No break. Wait. Slowing a vigilante's trying to block him. <laughs> him. And we've just around that vehicle through the red light. Why that person is doing that? No, uh, <laughs> no idea. But you saw that they, they're going to turn around and arrest that guy, I'm unit, telling you. Uh, shine that spotlight right into that vehicle driver's side window. Uh, like, what are you doing? Don't do that. Uh, some more sparks flying now. Some more smoke coming from the rear of the vehicle. Again, those right tires completely gone. Nothing but rim on the right side of the vehicle. Hazard lights on. I bet that on. guy was sitting there for a Outside. minute because he had plenty yeah, of time. Oh, drink. There's the drink. It looks like maybe a water bottle. That he I don't know about that. I bet that guy, though, that tried to block him was sitting there for like 10 minutes. Like, all right, he's coming this way. I can do this. I can be the hero. I can do this. Yeah. Then <laughs> gets arrested for it and also doesn't stop him. Making the turn onto Compton Boulevard. A right turn. Westbound Compton Boulevard to complete the circle and around and around we go as he continues through the bottom of the 10 o'clock hour, a pursuit going on hour. Uh, he was thinking how bad could 12 miles per hour, per hour hurt? Uh, <laughs> exactly. You think my car's a piece of shit anyway? They'll probably give me a medal for stopping this menace. I'll do it. <laughs> and then he half-assed it, so he just pulled out pretty quickly and it completely didn't work. We'll take him. He has definitely increased the speed. Things at Prime, Dixie. Yeah, I hope we see him again. Like, he starts chasing the guy. Suspect continuing. Continuing westbound on Compton Boulevard at a snail's He's pace, a again, one, only about 25 miles per hour with CHP right behind him, forming a traffic break. So nobody can really come up behind them here to interfere. So he, they are ready if he does come to a stop. Uh, not seeing many units. I don't think this thing can stop. I'll just tell you. These intersections, quite frankly, uh, awaiting him. I would have anticipated by now we would have seen another spike strip attempt, but we're not seeing that. Just those four or five units right behind him with the helicopter uh, overhead. You see the night sun occasionally in the shot there. He is. Uh, oh my god. Whoa! Whoa! Are they finally going to pit him? 
and somebody's given the go-ahead. Whoa! Oh, <laughs> him out of control, doing a 180. He is pushing the pedal to the metal. And oh, another <laughs> collision with another Oh, my God. He's going 12. He's coming around that light pole. He's going 12, made this. He spun around in a full 180. Oh, no. with CHP. Get the Jeep Get guy back out here. He was closer. Right through those officers in the back there, and away he goes. Another, uh, another pit Oh, God. Now it's going to be no. another two hours oh, before they man, try that again. really frustrating for these CHP officers. This could not be more frustrating, quite frankly. After you just helped him with his U-turn, if anything. It was speed run tech. Watch Commander gives the go-ahead. It looked like a good one, and then... He pushes the pedal to the metal, floors it, not really fast, but certainly made contact uh, Thanks, with the front end of that one CHP unit, drove around that pole, and is now going eastbound. He's now eastbound on Compton Boulevard. If they God, see another opportunity, Jesus yeah, Christ. They're, they're gonna try oh, wait, it's the same guy. Is he going to do it again? Oh, you can't on this street. This one's a little too busy. He's coming back for more. But he, he is lurking. He's angry. He's got a head of steam. He's mad. Coming back. Make me look silly, huh? I was the number one pit maneuver expert in the academy. I'll have you know, bub. Come here, buster. Oh, he wants it so bad, too. He wants it so bad. Oh, here he comes. Oh, baby. You won't make a fool of me twice. <laughs> oh, I thought the G. I thought the cop's car had like hit one of the barriers. He takes himself out. Oh God, damn it! Third time's the charm. Come on, officer, action out here, please. Good lord! All right, here we go. That's oh, that's money. That's money. <laughs> He's immune to pit maneuvers. Back to the drawing board. He's too good. He's just giving him a spin cycle. Oh, maybe the plan's to make him dizzy. So that way he like... Oh, this, surely this one. Oh, actually, yeah, that one did work. Okay. That's all she's got. Or maybe... Or maybe... He's still able to run. Gassing it again. He's doing about five miles per hour with Hey, that's more than zero. Sometimes that's all you need. Ten miles per hour, coming to a slow crawl, and that is probably it. Yeah, it'll but probably be all man, she wrote. This Kia is Give him one more pit Here maneuver on the way out. Another possible pit. A little tap on the that ass for good luck. Number six in this pursuit. And let's see. He's going to need to pick up a little bit more speed for an effective pit. But he might have the opportunity here. Yeah, he's just goading him into it. Hey, go, go a little faster. Come on, idiot. I would yeah, show me the accelerator. Pull right up behind that left rear corner once again. Oh, he's going way. Out. Look at that there radius. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Slow no. Under the overpass. That is Alameda. No, it's been censored by the overpass. Alameda and Rosecrans. Here he is. Officers with their guns Ugh. drawn. The vehicle. The most crucial pit and they censored it. I'm going to wait a minute just in case things get a little hairy. I don't want any TOS problems here. Thanks, Arisa. Grim. Grim. Sick. Ashton. In the bits, Sylvie. You're good, they got him? Okay. At a complete stop, face to face, hands up in the air, he's putting up a fight. He is not cooperating. They're dragging him out. That's it. He I don't know done. about that. He Tackling had both hands in the, the air. Ground after he ended up face to face. It's like the worst fight ever. With those officers. Must have been one more pit maneuver down there. And now he is nice. being out of the vehicle. Nice. What a chase. <laughs> what a chase. Oh, boy. Well... That couldn't end much better or much safer because the potential for... <laughs> I love this commentator. He, he, it's very clear he is enjoying it. 
enjoyed his last It couldn't have ended any better. He t he takes it as entertainment. It. Six pit maneuvers. It is literally a sport. This suspect into custody. Eggs a bit Sylvie in the recent honey bones. In the prime just. Officers clearing the vehicle. Code four given. You can see them about to pop the trunk there. And oh, are we taking that uh, bumper as a souvenir? One driver in custody about to be hauled off to Men Central Jail after a wild and dangerous pursuit here in Compton. CHP's got their man. And that'll do it for our coverage from up here in Air 7. Keep it right here on ABC7.com and mm. Eyewitness News coming up in just eight minutes. Reporting live from Air 7 HD, I'm Chris Christie, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Great work, Chris. Great work, per usual. Chris is like the John Madden of L.A. police chases. Excellent, as always, Chris. I think what he needs next time, though, is, like, one of the NFL boards where they start, like, drawing on it. Like, here's the potential play. What he, what what Andy Reid's most likely looking to do here is going to be a, a slant route. Like, he could do that for these police chases. Like, uh, the suspect's going 25 miles per hour. He's got a couple of options here. If he wants to take the correct, uh, the correct route, he's going to want to go down East Compton where there's less speed bumps. You know, really get into it. Hey there, go ahead, Matt. Oh, hey, Chris. What happened? Did he did he carjack uh, one of the police vehicles? What's what's going on, Chris? I've just been told they're letting him off with a warning. Oh, that must have been an accident. Excellent chase. That was a, that was a wild one. And by wild, I mean the slowest chase I've ever seen. But what a <laughs> what an ending! What an ending! He's a bit silly. I oh I think so. They, they do a great job with it. Thanks to Resub Lapis. Six pit maneuvers and your car can keep going is the best Kia ad I've ever heard. That was a very impressive Kia ad, both for endurance and durability. That was impressive. It was eating pit maneuvers like cereal. It was getting pit maneuvered, but it turned it into like a beautiful ballerina's pirouette. Thanks to the resub journeyman in the bits, doublets, and gloss. True dub. Apex still? I don't know, man. That was, uh, how long was that? I think that was two hours. Hour 32. Uh, it's a little late for Apex. I'll probably just keep shooting the shit. No, probably no more of Josh. That boy Chris needs an Emmy Award. Hey, I'm telling you, Chris has had a uh, 
fantastic three months. Like his his value to ABC Seven has skyrocketed thanks to this new epidemic of LA police chases. Oh, that's you, Jaren. That a boy. Will we one day have fake chases for content? I don't think there is a such thing as a fake chase, because if you do actually try and stage a chase, you'll actually just end up getting arrested and, like, chased for real. But, uh, yeah, I have no doubt. I'm sure someone will try. In fact, you guys might remember this. We've talked about it before, but I don't know how many of you remember this. This extremely popular clip from eight years ago where a guy started like pulling people out of cars and going on this big elaborate chase the reason he did it is because he wanted it to become a viral youtube video and he was going to monetize the ad revenue off of it so he did it for clout to make money off of it So I do think that I'm sure other people will try something similar, but it's always going to end up like this guy with years upon years in jail. I think he had 120 years in jail. Did it work? No, he got 120 years in jail and zero of the ad revenue. Yeah, one of the cars he stole had a baby in it, and he, I think he even crashed that one with the baby in it. But yeah, no, he was just stealing cars, he literally threw the mother out of the car, fucking swerved out, blasting other cars, all kinds of shit, and then engaged in a foot chase. This was an extremely big video back when it happened. This is just like the highlights of it, but the whole thing is somewhere too, I don't know what they called it, but yeah, it was crazy. I'm pretty sure I even made a video on it back in back when it happened. There's a gift sub booty. And the bits camus and resub carnage. Developer accused of the wild excavator rampage. I'm sure. <laughs> it's the demolition job no one saw coming. An angry developer accused of being hell bent on revenge and letting rip with an excavator he doesn't miss. Goodness gracious. A demolition derby that has to be seen. He's had enough. Believed. When they're desperate for money, they'll do desperate things. Ted, can you tell us what happened? Uh, the machine malfunctioned. Scott, like, I don't know what to developer. tell you. It, it just about went to all cattywampus. A rage. He's on a work site in Truganina in Melbourne's west when he suddenly begins driving an excavator towards a factory across the road that he also built and sold. Inside, workers from the family oh, business man. can't believe their eyes as the man takes down the fence and flattens a fire hydrant, but he's just getting started. Surely he's not going for the car. He Damn. goes to smash up another vehicle before mouthing off. This almost looks like a cutscene from a video game. The rage developer then gets back to work, flipping this Skoda before setting his sights on the Ute. It too destroyed by the swinging bucket. The man offers a parting wave. Minutes later, his walk of shame. But it looks like he didn't spend long in jail. Here he is. 
We can unmask the man police allege was driving the excavator as Turak dad, Ted Crollo. Why aren't you saying anything, Ted? While he's allegedly happy to dish it out, it seems the only thing the 56-year-old's scared of are our cameras. Ted, just tell us what happened. So is he not going to jail or...? Ted claims the warehouse owners owe him money. They tell us it's simply not true. They're now left to pick up the pieces as Ted continues to work right across the road. Ted, where are you going? So he's... That... That is always so crazy to me. We've watched so much a current affair. Nobody in Australia gets arrested for fucking anything. We watched that clip about that drunk driver that blasted a woman, right? Drunk driving, literally hits a woman on the sidewalk. I, I'm pretty sure even like broke her back. She had to like relearn how to walk and everything. That drunk driver didn't go to jail and in fact moved in next door to the woman she hit. Do you guys remember that? And then we also watched that one about the neighbor that blew up his, uh, about that guy's neighbor who blew up his car in his driveway, said he did it, and all they said was, don't do it again. Does anyone get arrested for fucking anything in Australia? Ever? Like, holy shit. That's crazy. Thanks to Tier 1 Camp and the Prime Sammy, Crave and the Resub Trop and Rich Art. And the Prime User. You Americans are so dumb. Hey, I gotta tell you, if, uh, if you're not going to jail for drunk driving, hitting a woman, ruining her life, then brother, I don't know what you go to jail for. That is basically attempted murder. Fucking drunk driving and then doing that and then just walking free and then moving in next door. You deserve to be in jail. You deserve to be in jail for drunk driving. Straight up. Oh, maybe the 30 gift subs camp. Jesus Christ, man. Maybe the fat 30 gift subs camp. Appreciate the generosity. Thank you, man. Bro, it's bail. Why are you telling me that? You don't even know the stories I'm talking about, clearly. Because it's not Bale. She walked, and then eventually became the woman who she hits neighbor. And then the guy who blew up his neighbor's car still lives there. That was the whole story. Like, he still lives there. That's why a current affair even bothered covering it, because they are still neighbors, and he blew up his fucking car on surveillance camera. Thanks, Risa Abigail. That's a very rare story. That's why it was a story. It doesn't seem very rare. Every single one of these that <laughs> that we've ever seen ends with them not in jail, walking free, and then these goofballs chase them around with a mic, and they clearly don't answer anything. It seems That's what the whole channel's goes, dedicated to. Trouble follows. In the prime called in the recent He was banned for three years from running a company. After organizing an interview with him, Ted pulled the pin not once, just missed him. Where'd he go? Not twice, hey, Ted. Just ask you what happened, Ted? but three times. Sam. Ted, I'm just recording this call for our program. He's a prime Hugh. So I'm owed $3,950 and the debt goes back to 2016. Aaron Back owns a staircase business and says he believes Ted did the dirty on him too. Him crying poor is, is a complete sham. Aaron spoke with us via Zoom from Bali. The handrails for this particular staircase were to be installed and um, we went ahead and did them and um, have chased him ever since for the final payment. Um, we've gone to numerous and multiple uh, lengths to be paid, um, but, but to no avail. Tony Harrington says he thought he'd seen it all until... Probably the wildest one that I've seen. Tony spent decades on the tools and now mentors other tradies on how to run their businesses and finances. 
resorting to that uh, get rid of excavators in the immediate premises the and it's probably going to be more damaging um, for that particular guy in the long run in 2015 at lake macquarie on the new south wales mid-north coast a man flattened a home with a stolen bulldozer in a crazed act of revenge and how about this case in britain wow this seems to happen a lot where was this one a stolen bull wales mid in 2015 at Lake Macquarie on the New South Wales mid-north coast, a man flattened a home. Let's see, I wonder if he went to jail for flattening an entire home. Here we go. Man arrested after bulldozer demolishes home and garage. Okay, so this guy got arrested on attempted murder charges. So what about all the other people then? Home with a stolen bulldozer in a crazed act of revenge. And how about this case in Britain? A tradie hellbent on destroying a brand new hotel after he says he wasn't paid for the job. For his alleged wild ride, Ted's been charged with criminal damage and will have a date before a magistrate later this year. Okay. It's estimated that the damage bill will top $175,000. Thanks for the gifts of Abigail. The tier one King Arthur. Oh, but no one goes to jail, didn't bother finishing the story. But brother, it doesn't, it doesn't change the other two just because this guy does. It's still a general statement. It seems like it, it, very rare. Whoa, two, very rare. What? The, it's a whole channel of it. I just gave two examples. Who are you? Do you work for the New South Wales Police Department or something? Even, we talked about it on the podcast. Even Jackson says the same shit. You know what a woman got arrested for and faced 10 years in jail? Because she owned pepper spray because she had a stalker. So what we talked about is why is a woman getting arrested for pepper spray, but not a guy who literally tried to murder his neighbor by blowing up his fucking car in the driveway? ultimate one guy. It's not one guy. That was three different people. This is just the most recent one. Sleep well late. You heard the new Linkin Park song? Yeah, it was good. And the Reese of Happy.
Have you seen the Windigoon video on the bomb collar heist? Not yet. Thanks, resub guts. America talking shit about how shit Australia? What What are you talking- who's talking shit about Australia? I'm just asking about why it seems so rare for someone to actually get imprisoned for crimes. What the fuck? Holy lord. Who do you work for? You, are you like some kind of higher up at like the Australian court system or something and don't like even the slightest criticism? Or confusion? Good god. What is this like misplaced national pride? You can admit something's bad. I can admit there's a lot of bad things in America. <laughs> what the fuck? You call that a mass shooting? That's bad. I'm not gonna be like, yeah, we had a mass shooting, but you guys didn't arrest the neighbor blower upper. You can say, yeah, that was pretty shitty. <laughs> what the fuck? Show's garbage, that's why we're triggered. It's literal fake news. Didn't you just say you weren't Australian like 10 messages ago? Is anything you're even saying real? Why am I even bothering? But I don't know what's fake news about it. They literally just report on, like, usually small, trivial shit, but then occasionally the neighbor disputes where one of them blows up the fucking car. It's not exactly an easy thing to fake with the surveillance camera footage. He's a bit caustic in the Prime Kodak and the resub Tristav in Guts. Yeah, I heard about that, Sylvie. That was an old story, though, wasn't it? Yeah, I know a current affair is usually, like, pretty silly. That's why I like a current affair. It's usually just really trivial shit, but then occasionally, like, actual shit. Which is why Jackson and I have talked about it before on the podcast. They had an entire story about finding, um... God, what was it? I don't remember. Something in the Vegemite factory, and they made an entire story about how Vegemite is... <laughs> Amazing, even though they found something in a Vegemite story or a Vegemite factory. Like, it's just fun silliness. But then, like, the stuff that isn't silly is always perplexing how they don't end up in jail for it. Ninety percent of Australian media is owned by one man. That's not just Australia, that's media in general. Thanks to the prime debt, it's the same in the US and everywhere. All your media is controlled by like the same group. Who's that man? Murdoch. It's not a secret. Rupert Murdoch. Thanks to Risa Blazy.
Any update on the moon landing situation? I don't even know what you're referring to. I have no clue. Still fake. We've never been. There's, uh, we've never set foot on the moon. All a hoax. Fucking 5G. Want to talk about the meteor that hit England? Another meteor hit somewhere? I know they had the one in France. Meteor lights up the skies over England. Wow, well, yeah, another one. Cool. It is pretty interesting, Sylvie. Thanks to Resub Scusi. A meteor landed and nobody died? What? The meteor didn't land, it burned up. Most meteors burn up. I don't know the cult super well, Sylvie. Yep, Unity did end up winning the competition. Maybe playing Wild Hearts? Yep. Wild Hearts looks interesting. Have you seen the game Sinister Squid? Mm -mm. If a meteor were to hit Earth, it would burn up too much to do large-scale damage before it hit. Well, depending on the size of it. Tell that to the dinosaurs. Rip. Man. Have you heard of Operation Plate? It was a reported UFO attack in Brazil. They fired radioactive laser beams and sucked the blood of over 400 people, allegedly. We got invaded by alien vampires and no one told me? <clears throat> yeah, of course I've seen that, Sylvie.
I'm gonna get a rent. What? Am I gonna what? Former Lucasfilm exec lines up series adaptation of Roblox video game Creature of Scenario. Smart. Capitalize off the Roblox hype. I'm gonna take a piss real quick. Be right back. Thanks for the gifts of Jay Mundo. Yeah, I guess we'll have to wait and see, Sylvie. There's the prime. Come. In the prime now is the Grand Canyon discovery actually cool bro what the fuck are you talking about the Grand Canyon discovery hey Canute hope you're doing well man things a bit silly oh I believe that things are the prime try time Sub triv. You hear about the shipwreck discovered from eighteen sixty nine? No, is it a, is it a cool thing? Like, doesn't sound that interesting. What makes it wild?
Check out the conspiracy about Tartarian. <laughs> what the fuck? Is this another reptilian thing? We'll do Tartarian Truth. Oh, it's an entire channel. Wait, what is it? I just want the basics. Tartarian Truth. The Lost City... The Lost Civilization of Tartaria. This is the truth about Tartaria. Have you heard of this crazy theory that there was this global civilization that was wiped out and erased from the history? God, I wish he was going to say Atlantis, but he's going to say Tartaria. So here's the thing that you need to understand when you come across old maps. The terminology we use to... Oh, don't debunk it. Jesus, you're defeating the whole purpose. I want to learn about it. Who did, who did you say covered it? Oh, absolutely not, Andy. That's done by a professional. By Mind Unveiled. 52 minutes, Jesus Christ, I just want the cliff notes. Holy shit, the Tartarians have six arms. Just give me the goddamn basics. The mud flood of Tartaria. The mud flood, what the fuck is that? Has anyone ever noticed that some buildings have windows built into the floor? These buildings are all over the world. I know you've seen them, you just didn't know what you was looking at. I'm sure the poor people who live there know what they're looking at. And if you can see the windows on the left or the right hand side, they're buried underground. What does that have to do with Tartarians? The whole point of having a window is to look out. Well, or receive sunlight, but we don't want the plebs living in those half-basement apartments getting any of that. So this building, after being excavated, this is what was discovered. And all this time no one ever went down the stairs? <laughs> that all of these buildings are actually covered, buried, in mud. You just can't make this up. Well, <laughs> did. So that means people was just walking on the top Genius. Of not realizing there's a whole story of floors underneath. And they don't sink in the mud? Amazing. Has anyone ever noticed? What does that have to do with Tartarians, though? Mind Unveiled does actual research. I don't know the channel, but if the uh, argument is Tartarians are subterranean species living in our duplexes, I'm going to tell you no amount of research is going to make that one make sense. You, you can do research on shit till the cows come home, but at the end of the day, it's probably going to be dog shit if that's what it's based on. Thanks the Resub Defensive and Proxy. The Irish Connection. Where can I just get like a quick, concise breakdown of the Tartarians? The U.S. Constitution is from Tartaria. With a name like that, how can I not at least check this out? Hey everybody. So I think I got some really good juice for you guys. There's a lot going on and I find this to be very relevant because you're seeing Democrats actively trying to destroy the Constitution <laughs> and with the Green New Deal, they want to destroy many of these old Tartarian buildings. That was not the angle I, I thought this was going. Video, and many Fucking woke really libs destroyed Tartaria's U.S. Constitution. So and what makes it special. <laughs> In this video, I want to present a thesis that will explain how the Constitution of the United States could be a Tartarian document from a past age that created the most beautiful system in which the people had control over the government. There are many pieces to cover, so let's get started. I'm ready. Shout out to KD on Stolen History for helping out with this info. You've heard Shout out to the guy that said Mind Unveiled does real research. We are taught in history books and all that. <laughs> These cool buildings start. are much older than we are led to believe, and we have a lot of evidence to support this. So we have this legend of this legendary town called Norumbega. Mm -hmm. And supposedly it was this empire that was in North America before 
the history books teach us, and they don't really teach about this. It's supposedly just a legend. But what we have is this map from the 1540s that shows castles in European settlements wow. in America, and this doesn't really fit the narrative. This is from 1540. So what are these what are these buildings? I like how he just immediately takes it as fact. Well, this doesn't fit the narrative. It's from 1540 because this crayon drawing said so. So something the fairies is afoot. What is this? A map of Norumbega in in A? Let's see. Where does this map originate from? Part of the Abraham Ortelius Atlas from 1570. I'm assuming the Tartarians are also connected to Atlantis, then, if we're just going by old and correct maps. It was alleged that the houses had pillars of gold, and inhabitants carried quarts of pearls on their heads. Whoa. Wow. That's nuts. Cool. So, and also, there's parts of this map that are missing. We only have some fragments left. It must have been erased. But I found this whole legend of Norumbega very interesting. And what I'm trying to propose is, what if there was a empire that was made up of the northeastern um, cities and states that we know of, like New York City? What if there was an empire Florida, made out of reptilians? DC, and most I can play of these this game were too. actually some type of Tartarian empire that was within the United States. What if the reptilians so came from space? Let's take a look at Norumbega. So if we look on Wikipedia, Norumbega is a legendary settlement in northeastern North America which was featured on many early maps from the 1500s until European colonization of the region. It was alleged that the houses had pillars of gold and the inhabitants mm -hmm. carried quarts of pearls I just read on that. their heads. Hmm. Part of Abraham Ortelius Atlas from 1570 showing Norumbega among other somewhat mythical names for various areas as well as several phantom islands. Now the idea is, what if this was actually a Tartarian Empire and instead what are the Tartarians are led to believe that you know America was founded in 1776 well what if Tartaria still had control of America until around 1812 when we see the war between the United States and the UK and then we see all these fires from around the world that's the Tartarians burning so interesting begs the question is Norumbega actually the old Washington DC now, we can question whether these Tartarians built these buildings or not. You know, maybe they came across it. Um, some of these buildings may be from another age, you know, some of these capital buildings. But for the most part, I would like to think that maybe they were the ones who developed the system of government or the system... He kind of just freedom. summed up all of it right there. I would like to think. That's what all of this shit is always based on. I think it'd be fun to believe this. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's harmless. That's fine. So far, everything, every single thing he's saying is, what if I want to believe this? <laughs> None of it's compelling evidence of shit at all. It was erased. Because I said so. He's a bit silly. Yeah, I will, I'm ready to learn about Tartaria. So they they clearly made the U.S. Constitution. I heard a lot of uh, very impressive uh, supporting evidence there. Um, how about this? This the Tartarian civilization was said to be the greatest civilization ever to be erased from history. Mm. People have different opinions and it's gaining a lot of attention and followers from Reddit, Twitter, and other social media sites. 
The Tartaria has had several real. running discussions. The first one is about how Tartaria was a loss of a great empire in Northern Asia. The second is that this empire ruled over the entire planet, establishing a one world or nearly one world government. The final layer is that this empire was not only global, but also advanced. They had technologies unlike anything we can comprehend, and the society's architecture demonstrates their enormous talents. Tartaria was an extremely strong empire that deeply influenced the world, but has then purposely been erased from history. Mm -hmm. Individuals who believe in this theory believe that all world culture was profoundly shaped by a super state that then just kind of vanished, leaving various artifacts behind. The theory was there was this history wipe or reset and there was some kind of mud flood catastrophe around the 1850s oh! that caused worldwide mud accumulation covering a large portion of buildings and churches. And historical so evidence was mostly back. removed from our libraries and education systems for some other inexplicable reason. Tataria was allegedly a pre-Mongolian empire that started in Northern Asia and spread throughout the Northern Hemisphere. Great Tartaria was the largest empire at the time and would have been the largest today. The Tartarian Empire thrived in part due to the civilization's dominance in superior technology, free energy, and spectacular architecture. Tartari was a country with its own flag, government, and location on the- So you're just saying all of these things, but... Where's the evidence? <laughs> I can say the same shit about anything. In fact, Godslap is based on a true story. I don't know how many of you knew that. Prior to humans coming in and the fucking woke liberal blue hairs coming in and erasing the true history of the earth, we used to fight each other through slaps and cyberpunk level technology. But then wokeness spread like a plague and erased all of the truth. And I have comic books to back it up. You know, like, he has nothing. He's just saying this. I don't understand. Do they... Is proof a word I'm allowed to use when talking about Tartaria? Because I'd be very curious to see why anyone at all believes any of it besides just wanting it to be... real. Because it's fun. Keep watching. There's evidence at the end. Ah, uh, the perfect place for evidence. At the very end. So after making all of the statements with nothing to substantiate it, at the end is where it comes in. Okay, where that the Middle Ages never occurred. We are currently living in the period following Christ's reign, which is also described in the book of Revelation. As a result, Satan himself is attempting to conceal the truth about Tartaria from us. Another religious theory was in order to mislead people into believing they, they would join shark, those in the underworld car, if they disobeyed the religious horizon. authority. Religionists exploited the mud flood catastrophe and how it wiped away the Tartarian Empire. The Tartarian believers concluded that their architects must have been giants because of the vaulted ceilings in the buildings that remained after Tartaria, and that the world governments are actively attempting to conceal an ancient civilization of giants for believers. Tartarian believers point to a wide range of events as evidence of a Tartarian oh, there, yeah, there's the word. campaign. Okay. Most battles in the late 19th century were viewed as attempts to demolish most of the remaining architecture. Believers in Tartaria view World War II as the completion of a global campaign to wipe out all evidence of the Tartarian Empire's existence. This is going in the evidence section. And you just started that with, they believe World War II was actually a campaign to erase Tartarian influence. How is that evidence? Again, you're just saying they want to believe. It, like, people are getting dangerously fucking stupid. Everyone wants to feel so fucking unique that they believe in the most unhinged shit imaginable, like Tartarians. Oh my god. Wow. That's huge. Thanks, Resub Master. Aficionados also often look to world's fairs, which are major worldwide exhibitions of a wide variety of industrial, scientific, and cultural objects displayed at a given site for a period of time, and conclude that the stunning buildings erected for these events were not built, 
Instead, these were Tartarian standing structures. The government aims to obliterate Tartaria from history and constructed the World's Fair in such a way that they could destroy these structures without raising suspicion. Why? Tartaria conspiracy theory Why may would be they? one of the strangest examples of pseudo-history. Its core notion is that the area depicted on early modern European maps as Tartaria or Grand Tartari was not merely a hazy topographical designation, but rather a massive centralized empire. The existence of said empire has been concealed for whatever reason to fit in with various stories. Even so I'm assuming existed, the uploader here doesn't believe it either. He's just presenting what the beliefs are. And okay, maybe I went in here with the wrong understanding of it because god damn Jesus the real question is why wouldn't they why wouldn't they want to erase Tartarian influence because they gain nothing from it if they're all dead for whatever mysterious mud flood mud wizard reason, it doesn't matter. It, it doesn't do anything. The question, and I see this shit all the time, because people like to believe in the most unhinged shit ever, but the question should always be, what would they gain from it? And nine times out of ten, they can't answer that question with anything that makes sense. It, every big power play is always going to be money or power. That's it. If they are not getting money directly out of something, there's likely not a conspiracy behind it. If they're not getting power out of it, also likely not a conspiracy behind it. Religious. I guess maybe religious now too, because satanic panic's in full fucking effect. But even still, do you really think, like, the elite weirdos would actually give a fuck about religion? I don't think so. I think it's all money power driven, not religious. Scientology. Scientology is literally all about money. That is the entire core of Scientology is money. The lady who voices Bart Simpson has donated an absurd amount of money to Scientology. A lot of people have. It, it's a very lucrative religion to be in. Thanks to Tier 1 perp. <clears throat> very much so. Do you honestly believe the elites are so different from us? I think you'd be silly not to, yeah. 100%. As the prime was. But are they lizards? What? No. They're just fucking weirdos. There's like this certain threshold of, I guess, elite celebrity status that some people cross like this event horizon. Then all of a sudden they're part of those like weird fucking like Brian Singer child parties and shit like that. They own these islands and all kinds of awful things behind closed doors. Get away with all kinds of fucking crime. Yeah, there's definite like there there is a level of elites where it is like yep they're just not even the same as like a normal person. Hundred percent. I 
He's a bit silly. And I hate their fashion. I've said this for fucking years. I hate high fashion so fucking much. It's the dumbest shit ever. And it only reinforces my belief that they are just no longer like a functioning normal person. The Met Gala has the best fashion ever. Is that the one where uh, Kardashian wore the lion head and then another celebrity also wore the lion head and Doja Cat dressed up like a uh, uh, like red skull out of the MCU? She had like diamonds all over her and like her whole body was red. Was that the Met Gala? No, that wasn't the Met Gala. What was that one? That was just Fashion Week. Oh. Sam Smith's bubble outfit. Oh, fuck me. That, stu that stupid bubble outfit was unreal. Oh, I, and he's getting memed to death. It is just getting memed to death. All over the place. It is the worst fit ever. That shit is so bad. It is so stupid. That was criminal. I don't know who told Sam Smith to wear that, but my god. I didn't, I didn't even see that, Sylvie. That sounds hype, though. Oh, that's right, the meat dress, the Lady Gaga meat dress. That was the Met Gala, wasn't it? Yeah, the meat dress. Fucking cool. Satanic... Theories on Sam Smith's performance. I think Satanic Panic is so fucking cringe. We're going backwards. Sam Smith's performance was trash. Cringe. It was just a desperate attempt to be, like, edgy. And I, f I can't believe it actually worked. That's something that would have been, like, controversial in the 90s. And then it wouldn't have been from, like, 99 to 2016. But now we've entered a new Satanic Panic era. So now everything's evil and demonic. Fucking Rihanna was getting grilled for wearing a red dress. Like, it's it's so pathetic. I can't believe that's actually wrapped back around. I thought we were well past satanic panic. You hear they're bringing mammoths and birds back? They say that like every year. They've been bringing woolly mammoths back since I was a kid. They've never done it. There's Resub Cameron. You see Glup Shido episode of Bad Batch? Can't say I did. Appreciate it, Sylvie. <laughs> no worries.
Nix the Prime Everock. I know, I saw Planes getting a sequel, that's so wild. Charlie, you don't think there's an agenda around the world shaping and molding our society to their values? Think about that. I'll give you something to think about that, or to think about. You don't think you are being manipulated into constantly being fearful in order to further their own motives? The people you're getting that information from, you think they're telling you the truth? So everyone's lying except the people you're getting that from. You think that's likely? The ones that you're paying money for to get that information and supporting? Surely they wouldn't be lying. I think it's far simpler. I think right now the most lucrative thing you can do is have people fight. Cause a division. And then play for a team. And then you squeeze as much juice out of that team as possible to line your own pockets. It's fucking free. And you keep everyone constantly angry at each other. You keep everyone constantly fucking arguing. And you reap the rewards. You have them fearful of this fucking global boogeyman. This crazy puppet master that's pulling everyone's strings except yours. Because you're smart enough to see the truth. Because you follow me. That kind of shit. I think it's a lot simpler. There's a ton of very powerful, very fucked up weirdos in this world. A lot of elite garbage. That is true. Like that pedophile ring shit. That shit is real. But I don't think there's a shadow organization that's controlling everyone and everything except you and the people you follow. Is it tier one, Joe? That's exactly what they want us to think. Yeah. Just keep giving money to get the truth. Surely that'll work. He's a tier one judessel. The elites aren't the only weirdos. True. But you'd, you'd be silly to actually think that the elites aren't weirdos doing awful shit. Is the resub cracky? Weird how Epstein Island was just a thing and there was a book with names that hasn't been released. That may what? That whole book has been released. All those names are out there. What are you talking about? There's a whole fucking publicly accessible list of frequent flyers of Epstein's. Oh, you're talking about the Black Book. Oh, 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 oh. I thought you were just talking about the list of people. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank <laughs> you. 
What if Tartarians founded the Illuminati? I think that's the argument they were trying to make. Because they were talking about Tartarians as the one government of the world or whatever. I think they were trying to say that. Yeah, I heard about the other derailment. It's very spooky. Did you watch Gunther's Millions trailer? No, Chelsea watched it though. She she told us all about it. And my parents watched it too. And they told me about it. That's a kind of wild story. Distractions everywhere from what's really going on. I mean, that's that's one way of looking at the world. I think the healthiest way to tackle anything is instead of blindly following anyone and certainly paying someone to lecture you, you should get all information everywhere, process it, and then figure out where you land on shit. Instead of blindly throwing money at someone you think will never talk or will never lie to you. I think no single source is trustworthy. And especially the ones you're paying for. It's assuming people learn critical thinking. I know, it's a lot easier to just blindly believe something because you were told it or someone you like said it. It's far easier to live that way and it keeps you angry, it keeps you occupied. But I think that's the worst way of living. It's much easier, or I, much better, to get a lot more info and take it all in, marinate on it, and you'll form your own opinion. You'll have a unique thought, as opposed to a, a fed one, a spoon-fed sheep thought. From someone that you're giving 50 bucks a month for on the, the truth, on advice, on info. It's much, much better. Listen to Charlie. Surely he's the elite of knowledge. I am literally telling you the opposite. That goes for me. That goes for literally everybody. Legitimately every single thing. You should all form your own thoughts. Own opinions. What a government plant would say. True. <laughs> yeah. Twitch is becoming fake news. I've got I've got a rough pill for you to swallow. Everything's becoming fake. Literally everything. Every facet of information you see out there is very likely to have some kind of ulterior motive or just straight up be fake. 
Deep fakes are popping. We've already seen our first deep fake scam with Joe Rogan promoting Alpha Grind, which he never did. It was deep faked. Like, it's... I think now more than ever should fucking <laughs> convince people to actually start thinking for themselves as opposed to just blindly following one thing that they're spoon-fed. Imagine losing your identity to deep fakes. I know. It's coming. It's coming. the cooking vids yeah probably i'm sure don't know what but yeah i'm sure Have you heard about the doctor who had to suck the urine out of a man's balls in order to save his life? That sounds like a beautifully chat GPT generated story. What a hero. The pee from his balls? My god. Thanks to the Prime Gamer. Is the resub hunter? Have you seen the trailer for sixty five? It's a new Adam Driver movie. Nah. Sounds like an A twenty four film. Some are good, some are bad. Hit or miss. I don't know anything about it though. Is it an A24 film? Let me see if I got that right. It is not an A24 film at all. In fact, I have actually seen this trailer. That was a much art much artsier title than I thought it would be. Thanks, Arisa Brody. The sci-fi weapon design is cringe. I mean, it just looks like generic sci-fi weapon based on that thumbnail. Which I guess you could just say is unoriginal. He's a bit silly. Things the Risa Big E. I don't have any advice for you there, Big E, but I hope you make a decision that you're happy with. Alright, I think I'm gonna go to bed. I'm getting tired now. It's 3 a.m. Alright, thanks for tuning in. 
New subs, welcome aboard. Sub means a lot. Thanks for subbing. I will see you all tomorrow. Have a great evening, everybody. Um, who's streaming? Hold on. My following list isn't loading yet. Okay, I'm going to bed. No raid tonight. I'm sure you'll find someone to watch. If you're staying up, thanks a resub spoon. Have a good night, everyone. See you tomorrow. Thanks again. Bye-bye.